Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome to Last Rouse Baseball's live commentary of the DuPont Professional Baseball League. Tonight, we are going to bring you a Pacific League matchup between the Toku Rakuten Golden Eagles, who are hosting the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. It is going to be the second game of the three-game set. And we're going to get you going here with the starting lineups, first of all, from the visitors from Fukuoka. Leading off and playing in center field is number 23, Yukio Shudo. Batting second and playing shortstop is number zero, Hikaru Kawase. In the third spot, doing the designated hitting is number nine, Yuki Yanagita. In the cleanup spot and playing first base is number 25, Otaka Yamakawa. Batting fifth and in left field is number three, Kensuke Kondo. Batting sixth at third base is number 24, Ryoya Kurihara. Batting in the seventh spot and in right field is number 61, Yuta Kawamura, batting eighth and doing the catching is number 19, Takuya Kai. And batting ninth, the second baseman wearing number eight is Taisi Makihara. And they are going to be facing the right-hander Kosei Shoji, who takes an 0-1 record to the hill. He worked four innings in his season debut. He allowed seven hits, five runs, all of which were earned. He walked one and struck out four, and he's got an earned run average of 11.25. Well, that's your starting lineup for the Hawks. Now your starting lineup for the Tohoku Racket and Golden Eagles. Leading off and doing the designated hitting tonight, wearing number 78 is Kansuke Tatsumi. Batting second and playing second base, wearing number zero is Hiroto Kobakata. Batting third and right field is number 51, Yuya Ogo. In the cleanup spot and playing third base is number three, Hidato Asamura. Batting fifth and left field is number four, Toshiki Abi. Batting in the sixth spot and playing first base is number 39, Yukia Ito. Batting seventh in center field is number 25, Kazuki Tanaka. Hitting eighth and doing the catching is number 70, Siyoshi Ishihara. And batting ninth and at shortstop is number 66, Itsuki Muribayashi. And they are going to be facing the Cuban left-hander, Levon Minello, who is making his second start. Minello in his season debut was absolutely outstanding. Although he did take the loss, he worked eight innings, allowed three hits, one run it was earned. He walked one and struck out four, and he has an earned run average of 2.25. Well, those are your starting lineups, and we'll be ready to get this one underway in just a couple of moments. We appreciate you guys for coming in, whether you listen live or on delay. We'll be back in just a few with all the action right after this. It is Hawks and Eagles from Tohoku when we return. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. As our starter Shoji has just completed his warm-up tosses, we're ready to get this one underway. It'll be Shudo, Kwase, and Yanagita to get things going here in the top of the first inning for the Hawks. It is a partly cloudy day in Tohoku, but a nice day for baseball. Some of the players are in their sleeves. The wind is a little bit brisk. As you go, Shudo will get things going here for the Hawks. Shudo hitting 250 on the early going, no homers and one RBI. And he takes the first pitch of the ball game for a fastball up and away for ball one, and the count is 1-0. and We are underway at 2.01 Japan time. As the pitch is on the way, it's a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count runs even to 1-1 one one on Shudo. 
Shudo for his great wheels. He got off to a slow start in that opening series against the Oryx Buffaloes. As he pitches on the way, it is a fastball swung on at his line foul down the right field line, and the count goes to one and two. We made our predictions, and we said we believe that the Hawks and the Buffaloes will be running one two this year. That being said, the Buffaloes have stumbled out of the gate and find themselves almost at the back of the pack here. Here's the pitch. It's a fastball swung on and missed. Shudo's in the books for the first out of the inning. One up and one away. That's going to bring up the shortstop, Hikaru Kawase. And for Kawase on the season, he's only had two at-bats, and he's had hits in both of those. He's two for two. He's appeared in five games this year for the Hawks, but mostly coming off the bench as a either as a pinch runner or for defensive purposes. Here's the first offering. It is a breaking ball that misses up and away, and the count is 1-0. and oh. Gets the start at shortstop tonight as Kenta Amamiya gets the evening off. So one ball and no strikes. Pitch on the way. It is a fastball that the umpire goes up with the right hand with that looked like he couldn't hold up his swing and just kind of casually tried to go through it. Hawks are perched atop the top spot in the Pacific League. They are 5-2. and two. They're Trailed by a half game by the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. There's a pitch. It is a fastball swung on. Taps softly over to first. Fielded neatly by the first baseman. Ito, who takes it himself and steps on the bag, and that's going to retire Kawase for a ground out to three. It's two out in the inning. I'll bring up the DH, Yuki Yanagita. And for Yanagita on the season, he's hitting a cool 348. No homers and five runs batted in. He's off to a hot start, looking like an old Yanagita, or maybe a Yanagita from a few years ago, the 35-year-old. Is getting a little bit longer in the tooth as he waits here on the first offering. First pitch fastball misses up and away, and the count is 1-0. and On the flip side of the coin, the Toku Racket and Golden Eagles are in fifth place in the Pacific. They're two and a half games out of first. Oryx Buffaloes are anchored to the bottom right now so far. Fastball swung on and missed. Count is 1-1 one one to Yanagita. Defensively tonight for the Eagles... It's a new look type of Eagle team and the outfield from left to right. It is Abby and left. The center fielder is Tanaka and the right fielder is Ogo. There's a fastball swung on this ball is driven into deep right center field. Giving chase is the center fielder. Abby or sorry, is the center fielder Tanaka and he's there to make the catch. He had to go a long way into the right center field gap to get it. But Yanagita is going to be gone for the third out of the inning. So we'll try to give you those lineups in the other half inning when we come back. The Hawks, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left the board in the top of the first. We're moving now to the bottom of the first inning. Your score is the Hawks, no score. The Eagles coming to bat. Sticking around, everybody will be back with the call in just a few. Appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight on the Last Drafts Baseball YouTube channel. Be right back after this. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Levon Manello has completed his warm-up tosses, and it is going to be Konsuke Tatsumi, Hiroto Kobakata, and Yuya Ogo to get things going here in the top of the first inning. 
Tatsumi is making his first official at bat. He has appeared in one game. And the first pitch is a breaking ball that misses down for a ball, and the count is 1 0. He is getting the start as the designated hitter tonight. It is a very youthful looking Tohoku lineup as the pitch is a fastball that is swung through and missed, and the count goes even to 1 1. Our friend Ruben is in the house tonight. He says, Is the under six for the game a good bet? Based on what I witnessed last night, I would say that could be trouble if you are the Eagles. But I do think that the Hawks and the Eagles here tonight with Moinello on the mound and potentially with Shoji, who had a better year last year, could work for you there, Ruben. We'll have to just wait and see. Here comes the 1-2 offering as that last pitch was fouled away. And it is a breaking ball, waved out and missed. And Moinello makes quick work of the rookie. He has gone for one out here on the first inning, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Hiroto Kobakata. For Kobakata, he is hitting 250 on the year. He's got no homers and a couple of runs batted in. Started to say it's a kind of a new look Eagles lineup. They've got a new manager. They've got a new vibe. And everything is a little bit new in the land of the Golden Eagles. Toshiaki Imai is the new manager. As the first pitch is a breaking ball that misses outside to Kobakata. The count is 1-0. and The 28-year-old second baseman, as we said, 6-for-24 on the early going. Breaking ball misses upstairs. The count now goes to 2-0 and on Kobakata. Lefty Moinello wasting no time. He rocks into the windup and he kicks and delivers. Pass ball swung on. This ball is lifted into right field. Moving back on it is the right fielder Kawamura, and he's there to make the catch. And that is going to retire Kobakata for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Yuya Ogo. Well, defensively tonight for the Hawks from left to right field, Kondo is in left. The center fielder is Shudo, and in right field it is Kawamura. Around the horn from first to third, it is Yamakawa at first. The second baseman is Makihara with Kawase, the shortstop, and the third baseman, Kurihara, the battery of Moinello and Takuya Kai. So here comes the first offering from Moinello. It is a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count is quickly 0-1. Ogo batting 273. He's got nothing across the slash line left, or, or right now. 6 for 22 gives us that 273 average. Pitch on the way. Fastball just misses down and away, and the count now goes to 1-1. One and one. So one ball and one strike. Hawks tonight wearing their black tops with the white pants. Tohoku is in the all-white uniform with the maroon piping, as that is a breaking ball that is grounded foul past the bag at first base, and the count now goes to 1-2 and two on Ogo. There are a lot of ugly batting averages in the illegal lineup and a lot of inexperience here tonight. Sometimes when we make our picks, we do them at about 10 in the morning, North American time. So we don't get a chance to see what the lineups actually look like other than the starting pitchers. There's a fastball swung on and fouled away. The count remains at one and two. And thankfully we picked the Hawks tonight because when I look at this Golden Eagle lineup, Oh boy, it could be a little bit scary just in terms of what they've got out there. A lot of inexperience. So when our friend Ruben asks, is that six going to hold or under six in this game? I'm not sure where the runs for the Eagles are going to come from. There's a breaking ball, wave that and missed. Nice stop by Kai. He's going to throw it down to first. That's going to be a strikeout, two to three on the putout. That's going to retire Ogo here, and that is going to do it for the Golden Eagles in their half of the first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left the board. We are through one complete. Your score is the Hawks nothing and the Eagles nothing. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back with the call at the top of the second when we return after this. Appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight, whether you listen live or on delay. It's always great to have you here.
It is nothing, nothing as we move to the top of the second inning. We'll be back in just a few with all the action. Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be the heart of the batting order to come to bat for the Hawks here in their half of the second inning. Otake Yamakawa, Kensuke Kondo, and Ryoya Kurihara do get things going here against the righty Shoji. And the first offering to Yamakawa is a fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into left field. Plenty of room there for the left fielder, Abby. He's there to make the catch, and that will retire Yamakawa. So one pitch and one away here in the first inning. That is going to bring up the left fielder, Kensuke Kondo. The wind is blowing in from center field, but it's not a at a heavy or at a blustery pace. But that ball, Yamakawa just missed. He got it up into the wind. He was able to knock it down easily. Defensively tonight for the Tohoku Racket and Golden Eagles, we started to give it to you in the first inning. From left to right field, it is Abby in left. The center fielder is Tanaka, and the right fielder is Ogo. As that fastball misses outside to Kondo, and the pitch count is 1-0. and Around the horn from first to third, Ito is at first. The second baseman is Kobakata. The shortstop is Murray Biashi, and Asamura is the third baseman. As that pitch misses down, and the count is now 2-0. and and the battery is Shoji and Ishihara tonight. So a different looking Eagles lineup than what we were accustomed to seeing in recent years. Here's the 2-0. It's a fastball that misses upstairs and the count goes to 3-0 on Kondo. When I think of the lineups that they would roll out over the last couple of years, players that we would be used to seeing who are still with the club, but there's no Okajima on the lineup tonight, no Tatsumi, no Hiroshi, her, her Hiroki Shimochi. As the pitch is on the way, it's a fastball that misses outside. And that's going to be ball four. So Kondo's aboard on four straight balls. It'll bring up the third baseman, Ryoya Kurihara. On top of it, Daichi Suzuki, Igoro Moji. No longer they would consider regulars in the lineup from the playoff run from a couple of years ago. So you're missing some of those players. They're getting a little bit longer in the tooth, so to speak. Some of the younger players are getting an opportunity. And as we said, the manager, Toshiki Amai, who is the manager now, is trying to unlock some combinations for him to see what he's going to have going forward. I think they want to try to get younger, do the Golden Eagles. So here comes the offering. It is a breaking ball that misses outside. The count is 1-0 to Kurihara. Kurihara only hitting 120 on the season with no homers and three runs driven in. Bats from the left side here against the right-hander Shoji. We got our friend Gracie Lynn in the house tonight. We appreciate you for stopping in. We are doing pretty good. Here's the offering. It is a fastball ticket for a called strike. And the count is now one and one to Kurihara. Our friend Gracie Lynn is wrapping up her time in Costa Rica. She is there visiting with friends, I think probably for close to a month. So the right-hander Shoji ready to go again as he works to the set position, checks the runner, and now delivers. Fastball swung on and missed. The count now goes to one and two. So one ball and two strikes. We are going to give it a whirl tomorrow night as we are going to make the call between the base stars and the Giants. Our confident fingers crossed that we have a feed for that one. So be sure to jump in on the air for Central League action. So one ball and two strikes it is as the right-hander holds to the set. Now delivers. Breaking ball swung on and fouled away, and the count goes to one and two on Kurihara. 
full slate of games around the NPB tonight. The only game that will go later is the game between the Bay Stars and the Giants. As we will keep you updated on all of the scoring across the NPB, there is only scoring in one other game tonight. As the Buffaloes have jumped out to a 3-0 lead against the Chibolote Marines. That is in the top of the first inning. And the pitcher Shoji throws over to first base and diving back in time is Kondo. So still one ball and two strengths to Kurihara. Be curious to see if they put Kondo in motion here. He does have a stolen base this year, but he's not somebody at this point in his career that I would expect to be running frequently. Pitch on the way, fastball swung on it, is tapped over up the first baseline, fielded by the first baseman Ito, but it was in foul territory, and we're going to do the one-two pitch all over again. Gracie Lynn said the Red Sox have made three errors tonight and are still winning 8-6 against the Angels in the ninth. I watched that game for all of about one inning and happened to see a couple of the errors in that inning and the led to the grand slam by Logan Ohape. But I didn't realize the Red Sox were back in front because we jumped on the call of this one. Here comes the 1-2 pitch. And it is a fastball that misses way upstairs and the count now goes to 2-2 two and two on Kurihara. Able to race home and get some dinner and get ready to get on the call for this one. We will put up our slate for the week next week as we'll be on the air a number of times. We'll try to give you some advance notification. Fastball swung on and grounded foul over on the first base side. The count remains at two and two. Our friend Titus in the house here. He's in the land of the rising sun and we welcome you to the stream as well. So two balls and two strikes to Kurihara. Last night we called the game between the Fighters and the Lions. There was a 14 pitch at bat in that ball game. There's a fastball swung on and missed. Kurihara is not going to get there as he goes down on strikes for the second out of the inning. And that's going to leave it up to the right fielder, Yuta Kawamura. Kawamura gets the start in right field tonight. He is 0 for 1 on the season. We'll get a chance to get a look at this young Fukuoka ball player. We're here in the top of the second inning with the score locked at zeros. And here comes the first offering to Kawamura. This is only his third game of his career. Fastball swung on. It is taken on one hop by the first baseman, Ito, and he steps on the bag. That is going to retire Kawamura on a ground out to three. Couldn't hit it any harder, but right to the glove of the first baseman who was standing on the bag holding Kondo. He's gone for out number three, and that will do it here in the top of the second for the Hawks. No runs in the inning, no hits, no errors. One runner left aboard. We're now moving to the bottom of the second inning. Your score is the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles nothing and the Hawks nothing. We'll be back in just a few with all the action. Appreciate you guys for being here and hanging in here with us tonight on the Last Raps Baseball YouTube channel. We'll be right back in just a few.
Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be the heart of the order coming to bat for the Eagles. That means Hedero Samura, Toshiki Abi, and Yukia Ito to come to bat here to face Levon Manello in inning number two. Hedero Asamura, one of the old guard that is in the lineup here tonight, hitting 087 to start the year. He's two for 32, no homers, and a couple of runs driven in. Reminds me of his year he had a couple of years ago. There's a breaking ball, take it for a called strike, and the count is 0 and 1. Our friend CV in the house tonight. There's a breaking ball swung on. This ball is lifted into deep center field, drifting back on it, and underneath it is Shudo. He's got plenty of space to make the catch. And that is going to retire Asamura for the first out of the inning. CV says he's so upset with the cheap Dodgers for being jerks with the Otani homer ball. I have to tell you, I really don't know what happened over there you're gonna to have to fill us in a little bit cv all i know is that there was a lady in the stands in right field who caught the ball and then i never really caught much after that i heard the announcers kind of say that a very wealthy hitter hit it and somebody else was probably going to get wealthy as well as there's a breaking ball that misses down to abby abby one ball and no strikes He's hitting 263 on the season, no homers and three RBIs. And the pitcher is a breaking ball that misses down. It's now 2 0. Tyler says, brutal loss for the Angels tonight. As I said, I didn't get a chance to watch that other than the grand slam home run by Ohape. I got there, saw how the Red Sox were kicking balls around. A Sedena Raphael drop ball in the outfield. There's, there's a fastball that misses down. It's now 3 0 to Abby. I think there was an error in the infield as well, but wasn't really watching it all that tightly until Ohape hit the grand slam. There's a fast ball taken for a called strike, and the count is now three and one. So three balls and one strike. CV says that they refused auth authentic authentication if she didn't get the guards the ball. That's sad. Or give the guards the ball. As there's a breaking ball that misses down, and that's going to be ball four. Abby's going to get himself a base on balls. Tyler said the grand slam killed his original bet. Also says he's pretty sure that's common with home run balls. But yeah, possibly so. But the sad part about it is, is that there's a couple of people that will be profiting potentially there. It is Yukia Ito coming to bat. He is 0 for 2 on the season. He doesn't have a batting average or a slash line as there's a fastball swung on it. It is lifted foul down the right field line. It reaches the seats. The count is quickly 0 and 1. Yeah, milestone balls. I mean, if, if I was in the stands and caught a home run ball in a certain situation like that, I mean, sometimes people will say that, you know, they need the money. Sometimes people would want something else. Here comes the 01 pitch. And the pitch on the way is a fastball that misses upstairs. When I used to live in a major league market, I probably would have said what I want is season tickets for the next 25 years. A pair. And they don't have to be box seats, just have to be my entry into the gate. And you got to guarantee me that for the next 25 years that I'm going to get tickets. Unless, of course, I'm in Oakland, and then I want to say I want 25 years somewhere. Breaking ball misses outside. Counts now 2-1. and one. CB said he would have sold it as soon as possible. Tyler said it was his first home run as a Dodger, not like it's a huge money ball. Yeah, not like a milestone ball, but it's still going to command some money. Here's the 2-1. There's a fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into left field. Moving over underneath it is Kondo. He's there to make the catch. And Ito is gone for the second out of the inning. So two gone here. And that's going to bring up the center fielder, Kazuki Tanaka. Tyler said he would want a Otane signed ball batter jersey. Yeah, and that's pretty fair too. 
CB says, yeah, they're going to be the Sacramento A's for the next couple of years. I guess a three-year deal. So here comes the pitch from Minello. It's a fastball taken for a called strike. The count is 0-1 to Kazuki Tanaka. Tanaka 0 for 3 on the season. He gets the start tonight in center field. Nothing across his slash line either. Tyler says he's not sure it would have went for 10K, but you know what, Tyler? I have to be honest. It is Los Angeles, and it is Otani. And there's a fastball that misses up and away, and the count is 1-1. One and one. And sometimes people get stupid about those kind of things. And what's 10 grand to somebody who probably has memberships at clubs that cost two or three times that in those areas. I, I don't get it myself, but it's a marketplace that they're in, and that might be what could be commanded for that type of ball. There's a fastball swung on and missed, and the count now goes to one and two on Tanaka. Gracie Lynn says, I guess they're looking at it as attendance can't be worse in Sacramento than it currently is in Oakland. I know I'm going to be in Oakland for a couple games this year. You're going to see the Blue Jays twice. And then I bounce over to San Fran. I'm going to catch the Houston Astros and the Giants. That's going to be in June. There's a fastball swung on it. It's lifted down the left field line. It's going to reach the seats. Count remains at one and two to Tanaka. Tyler says, are we saying every Otani ball is 10K? No, I think the first one as a Dodger, in a way, that is kind of a milestone home run. It's a first. I don't think home run number three, five, seven, twelve is going to make a difference, but the first Dodger one, somebody might want that on their mantle. As there's a breaking ball that misses down, and the count goes to two and two on Tanaka. CB says Sacramento is closer than Oakland to him. And CB says, yeah, the L.A. fans have serious money. I know exactly what you're talking about. There's a fastball that misses up and away. Count is three and two. And, he, and you're absolutely right. The L.A. fans, if somebody wants something like that, they just they get crazy about stuff like that. Probably would pay more money for a Otane first Dodger home run ball than they would, say, for a Miguel Cabrera 500 or a Ken Griffey Jr. 500. Crazy. Breaking ball swung on it. Is lifted foul down the right field line well into the seats. And that is going to keep the count at 3-2 and two to Tanaka. So three balls and two strikes. CV says largest fan base in beer is $20 per. That's crazy. There's a breaking ball down, but the home plate umpire says Tanaka went around. He tried to sell it by running to first base for ball four, but the right hand of the umpire brings him back, and that is going to do it. Tanaka is gone on strength for out number three. No runs in the inning, no hits, no errors. There was a runner left the board. We are now through two complete innings. I appreciate you guys for popping in with us tonight as we cruise to the top of the third inning. Your score is the Hawks nothing, the Eagles nothing. Hitting number three just around the corner when we get back. This is Steve Rademacher, and I'd like to introduce you to my channel if you haven't seen it before. These are all the things I enjoy. Sports, autographs, relics, non-sports, Hall of Famers, pseudo-sports, Star Wars. That's my channel name and my name, and I would really appreciate it if you would come check me out and maybe even subscribe if you like it. Thank you for that for now, and back to your ball game. Appreciate you there, Steve, and the support you give to our channel. And in turn, we support Steve Rademacher. After the game, be sure to go check him out. Let him know Last Drops Baseball sent you. And ask him what he's got in his refrigerator. If 
he's got anything at all. Well, we're about ready to resume the action as the right-hander Shoji is completing his warm-up tosses. We'll be ready to get this one back underway here in just a couple moments. Just looking at the out-of-town scoreboard once again as we like to do our scoreboard watching during the game. Still only one score out of town that has got numbers on the board. It's 3 nothing for the Buffaloes in the top of the second inning. All the other games are underway with the exception of the game at the Tokyo Dome, which go uh, will go off at 6 o'clock local time. First pitch, fastball misses up and in to Kuya Kai, and the count is 1-0. Kai hitting 222 on the season, no homers and a couple RBIs. Batting from the right side against the right-hander Shoji. He kicks and delivers a breaking ball that drops in for a called strike, and the count runs even to 1-1. One one. It's Kai Makihara and the top-of-the-order Shudo to get things going here in the third inning tonight. As the right-hander kicks and fires, it's a fastball swung on, grounded softly over to short, fielded neatly by the shortstop Murray Biashi. He throws to first, and Kai is in the books on the ground out, 6-3. He's gone for out number one, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Taisi Makihara. Our picks last night, we took it on the chin as we had made the prediction that the Oryx Buffaloes would win their game last night amongst everybody else other than the Fighters and the Lions. We got that one correct. Buffaloes, Hawks, everybody beat us up last night. We went 1-5 and five with our picks. There's a fastball swung on and missed. Counts on one to Makihara. Akihara hitting 167 in the early going here, 4 for 24. Nothing across the slash line as they pitch as a fastball that misses down and the count runs even to 1-1. One and one. So one ball and one strike. We try to make our picks on the daily, so if you're around, be sure to check them out. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ball swung on and grounded foul over on the first base side. Count. One and two to Makihara. Got off to a cracking start. And then we went backwards a little bit with our picks. Last night, going one and five. Here comes the one-two pitch. Fastball. Take it for a called third strike. Oh, I got to tell you, there was a lot of backdoor run on that pitch from Shoji. It looked like it was coming inside, and then it ran back across the inside corner. And he is able to retire Makihara looking for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up the top of the order in Yukio Shudo. And for Shudo tonight, this is his second plate appearance. He went down on strengths, lead off the ball game. He's 0 for 1 in this one so far. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken for a called strike, and the count is quickly 0 and 1 to Shudo. So no balls and one strike as the right hander Shoji ready to go again. Kicks and fires. Fastball swung on, grounded to the right side, fielded easily by the second baseman, Kobakata, who throws to first. They go. In order, and they go quietly here in the second on a ground out four to three was Shudo. No runs in the inning, no hits, no errors. Nobody left the board. That's five straight. Retired now by Shoji. Your score as we move to the bottom of the third inning. It is the Hawks nothing and the Eagles nothing. We'll be back in just a few with all the action right after this. We appreciate you guys for hanging in here with us tonight on the Last Rouse Baseball YouTube channel. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Yep, yep. I'm just sitting here listening to Freddie call another game here on YouTube. Oh, yeah, going really good. He's calling a great game. A really exciting. Lots of stuff going on. You're lucky it's commercial break right now. I got a second. Oh, yeah, of course I'm having a cold one. Oh, yeah, got plenty of videos coming up this week. You should stop in, check them out, leave a like, you know, tell other people. But, oh, Freddy's coming back. i got to go catch the game. I will check check in with you later. You have a good night, buddy. Bye. 
Bottom of the third coming up in just a few. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Siyoshi Hara stepping to bat here, the eighth hole hitter in the lineup for the Golden Eagles. He takes a first pitch breaking ball for a ball, and the count is 1 0. The Shihara, Muribayashi, and the top of the order, Tatsumi, to face the lefty Moinello in inning number three as he swings at a fastball and grounds it softly to third. Fielded by Curry Hara, he fires across the diamond. And that is going to retire Ishihara in a ground out 5 to 3 for the first out of the inning. So one up and one away, and that's going to bring up the shortstop, Itsuki Murray Biashi. We got our friend Mick in the house tonight. We welcome you, Mick. Glad you are in the house with us. Not sure if you're at home in the great state of Colorado or if you are down visiting family in Cali, but wherever you're at, we're glad you could make it in here tonight. So Murray Biashi steps to the plate. He's batting an even 200 on the year with a homer and a couple RBIs. Takes a first pitch breaking ball over for a cold strike, and the count is 0-1. Winello ready to go again. He rocks into the windup and delivers. There's a breaking ball that misses down, and the count is 1-1. One and one. So one ball and one strike. Glad everybody can make it in here tonight for this one as it is the Hawks and the Eagles all locked at zeros in the bottom of the third. Manello delivers a breaking ball, and that falls in for a called strike. The count now goes to one and two. As we mentioned earlier, we're going to be on the airwaves tomorrow night. It'll be the Giants and the Bay Stars. There's a fastball swung on and fouled away. The count remains at one and two to Murray Biashi. So a little Central League action for you. Hopefully you can make it in with us tomorrow for that late night action. Here's the one-two pitch. Fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into left field. Moving over toward the foul line with lots of room is Kondo. He's there to make the catch. That retires Murray Biashi for the second out of the inning. So two up and two away. It'll bring up the top of the order in Kanosuke Tatsumi. And for Tatsumi, he had his first NPB, official NPB at bat. Top of the first inning, he struck out on four pitches against Moinello. What a way to start your NPB career, having to face a Levon Moinello. We've been lefty bringing it up sometimes in the upper 90s. Fastball swung on and missed. Count is 0-1. Maybe the manager of the Golden Eagles, Imai, is thinking, let's find out what our Young guys can do against one of the best in the biz. There's a fastball taken at the knees for a called strike. The count now goes to 0 and 2. So no balls and two strikes. Manella delivers again. A fastball swung on it is lifted foul. It's going to reach the seats over on the first base side. The count now goes to still goes to 0 and 2 on Tatsumi. Left-hander against the right-hander. Moinello rocks into the windup, and he kicks and fires. Fastball swung on, and another one lifted foul into the seats on the first base side. So no balls and two strikes to the rookie of the Tohoku Racket and Golden Eagles. So here comes the lefty Moinello, and the pitch is a breaking ball missing upstairs, and the count is one and two. Mick says Gold Eagles have been doing good for him as far as production. Well, we'll find out here tonight. There's a fastball down and it squirts away from Takuya Kai. The count is two balls and two strikes to Tatsumi. And 
So two and two is the count here as the right-hander, or as the right-handed hitting Tatsumi waiting here on the lefty Moinello, who rocks into the windup and delivers. It is a breaking ball swung at and missed. Blocked by Kai. He's going to have to race, pick it up. He throws it in the dirt. A nice play there by the first baseman, Yamakawa, to pick it out of the dirt. And that is going to retire Tatsumi on a strikeout two to three. He's gone for out number three, and that's going to do it for Tohoku here in the bottom of the third inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left aboard. We're a third of the way through this one. Your score is the Hawks nothing and the Golden Eagles nothing. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back in just a few with all the action. Appreciate you guys for listening in with us tonight. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, everybody. It is the two, three, and four hitters to come to bat for the Hawks as Shoji is ready to go. And the first pitch delivered to Kawasi is a breaking ball ticket for a strike. Count is 0 and 1. Kawasi did square to bunt, but he pulled back in that situation to take the called strike. Began the season two for two, entering tonight's ball game. He's 0 for 1 in this one. So two for three on the young season for Kwasi as that fastball misses outside. The count goes to one and one. So one ball and one strike. Hawks put up a pile of runs last night on the Golden Eagles as there was a fastball ticket for a called strike. Count now goes to one and two. Lots of offense displayed by Fukuoka, and they do have depth in their lineup. So here comes the one-two pitch. Fastball swung on, grounded softly over to second, fielded by Kobakata. He throws to first. It's going to retire Kwasi. That goes as a ground out, four to three for out number one. It's going to bring up the designated hitter, Yuki Yanagita. So for Yanagita, he is 0 for 1 tonight. He flew out to deep right center field his first time up. Arguably the hardest hit ball so far tonight by the Hawks. The veteran gets the nod at DH tonight. Eight for 24 on the year with a 333 average. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball drops in for a called strike. The count is 0-1. This was I was a bit afraid of. This is the Shoji that I witnessed last year, not the first start of uh, this season. He looks pretty solid here tonight. There's a fastball that is swung on and fouled away. The count now goes to 0-2. So no balls and two strikes here to Yanagita. It was only 30 pitches through the first things for Shoji. He's at 39 right now. This could be a deep run for him. Even Moinello has been very economical in his pitch count. Here comes the 0-2 offering to Yanagita. And the pitch is on the way. Fastball that misses up and in the counts one and two. Our friend Mix says the Live line right now, Eagles plus 110, SoftBank minus 150. So SoftBank, I think that's, you got to play 150 to get 100. 
There's a fastball swung on, and it is foul tip back. Did the catcher catch it? Oh, my goodness. That's unbelievable. And Ed is going to be retire Yanagita. I've got to see the replay of this. Just for your own perspective, the catcher tonight, Ishihara, for the Golden Eagles, the foul tip was in the air. It went off the glove of the catcher, and then he was able to react like a cat to be able to see the ball before it hit the ground, and he made the catch. And that was able to retire Yanagita as he goes in the books for the second out of the inning. Just to put it, give you a visual, Ishihara, the catcher, reminds me of a Japanese Alejandro Kirk. As there's a breaking ball that misses outside to Yamakawa for ball one. Looks like he's had a few trips to the dinner table, and maybe even a few in between. So here comes the 1-0 pitch on the way. Split finger pitch swung on and missed, and the count now goes to 1-1 one one on Yamakawa. But I have to say, that was a pretty cat-like reflex to be able to make that play. To retire at Yanagita, here comes the 1-1. One -one. As the right-hander kicks and fires, fastball swung on. Ball is lined softly into left field. And there to make the grab is Abby, and that is going to retire Yamakawa. He's gone for the third out of the inning. And if you're at home keeping score, I'll give you the line scores for both of these teams in just a moment. There were no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left the board. Line score for the Hawks as they are through four innings. No runs, no hits, no errors. Eagles, no runs, no hits, no errors. Something's got to give here, don't you think? We'll be back in just a few. There are a lot of zeros on the board in all areas. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, everybody. We are moving to the last half of the fourth inning as we get settled back into our seat. we got the kettle going, and hopefully we can get ourselves another hot chocolate before the fifth inning. It's Kobakata, Ogo, and As Samura to come to bat here against Moinello. The first pitch is a fastball swung on it. It's bunted on the first base side. No, oh, what a play by Moinello. He fields it with the backhand of his glove, and from his knees, he throws a cricket-style ball to first base. And that is going to retire Kobakata. That's going to go down as a ground out one to three as he tried to bunt himself on, but to no avail. What an athletic play, awesome play there by Moinello. <laughs> and he got some chuckles from some of the other players defensively. And if you're Kobakata, you're probably shaking your head because you just laid down an excellent bunt. But what an athletic play by Moinello to retire him for out number one. So one gone here in the bottom of the fourth inning, and that will lead us to Yuya Ogo, who takes a first pitch breaking ball down for ball one. Ogo struck out his first time up. Oh, for one tonight. That was a pretty awesome athletic play. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on to miss, and the count now goes to one and one to Ogo. Ogo with that. Strikeout in the first inning is seen as average slip to 261 as the lefty Moinello rocks into the windup and fires. Fastball taken for a called strike. The count now goes to one and two on Ogo. So one ball and two strikes. A 
left-hander against the left-hander. Moinello ready to go again. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses down. And the count goes to two and two. So two balls and two strikes. I know Moinello could really dial it up into the upper 90s when he was coming out of the bullpen. He is really in this one in the low 90s. Curious to see how he recovers start to start. Our friend Jason Stuff in the house, he says he's just wanting to say hi. There's a fastball ticket for a called third strike, and the count is going to, that's going to retire Ogo on strikes for the second out of the inning. So two gone here, and that's going to bring up Pedetto Asamura. Well, we might see something special here tonight. We got a lot of zeros on the board here in the bottom of the fourth inning. So don't go away or close it out too soon. As these two teams, somebody's going to have to blink shortly. So 51 pitches here for Marinello in the fourth inning as he rocks into the windup and delivers. Breaking ball that just misses down. Count is 1-0. and Takuya Kai tried to get underneath it and jerk that one up, but he could not get the strike. One ball and no strikes as Moinello rocks and delivers. It's a fastball that also misses down, and it's now 2-0. and oh. So two balls and no strikes to Hideto Asamura. Buffaloes are up 3 nothing. As we said, that was the only score that we saw a few moments ago as that breaking ball swung on and missed. It's now 2-1 to Asamura. Keep our eye on that scoreboard all through the evening. As there is a fastball that just misses, and the count is now three and one to the veteran right handed hitting third baseman. Interesting, he's been moved over to third, longtime second baseman, and stalwart on that side of the infield. As there's a breaking ball taken for a called strike, it's now three and two to Asamura. Has been some scoring at the Jinju. The Swallows are out to a two nothing lead against the Tigers. That is in the bottom of the third inning. As the lefty delivers, a fastball swung on it, is grounded over to third. A nice backhanded play on his knees by Kurihara. He gets up and throws to first. That retires Asamura on a ground out 5-3. And that will do it here for the Eagles in their half of the fourth inning. They go quietly once again, as that is now eight in a row, retired by Moinello. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left the board. Lots of zeros on the board as we move to the top of the fifth inning. Your score is the Hawks nothing and the Eagles nothing. We'll be back in just a bit with all the action. Appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight, whether you listen live or on delay. Always great to have you. Here is our friend Steve. We'll be right back in just a few. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining Freddie here on his baseball game. And I'm Steve Rademacher, and my channel is really all about everybody, including all my international friends. We have such stuff as non-sport packs from Canada, the OP Cheese. We have the Greek Freak. We have money from around the world. We have Lyra. We have Yen. We have Franks. We have Pounds. We have Deutschmarks. We have all kinds of cool stuff like that. We even have some cooler things like Japanese women wrestlers and OPG baseball cards where I cannot read the back. We even have unopened material like the royal family. I know it's backwards from London, England. Thank you for watching. Back to Freddie. Appreciate you there, Steve, and the support you give to our channel. And in turn, we support Steve Rademacher. After the game, be sure to go check him out. As he is, got some wild and crazy things he puts out every day. That's going to bring up the left fielder, Kensuke Kondo. He'll be followed by Ryoya Kurihara and Yuta Kawamura here to start the fifth inning. Kondo is one of the few to reach base tonight. He, in fact, he's the only Hawk to reach base tonight. He drew a base on balls back in the second inning where he was stranded. And the first pitch is a breaking ball that catches the inside corner, and the count is 0-1 to Kondo. Top of the fifth inning here, as we have no score in this one, both teams are yet to 
reach base via a hit. Uh, there is a fastball that misses up and away, and the count goes to one and one on Kondo. So one ball and one strike. Our friend Troll Zaddy in the house. What's up, Troll? Breaking ball misses. It's now two and one. You're in here for a good one. If you like pitcher's duels and not a lot of action on the base pass, you've got that. Both of the pitchers have been stellar tonight, and the defense has been good as well. There's a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count runs even to two and two on Kondo. Our friend had to change his name. The original man on the moon from Troll Zaddy. They didn't like that. There's a fastball that misses down, and the count now goes to three and two. Tigers have got a run pack on the Swallows. It is now two to one in the top of the fourth inning at the Jinju. Looks like it was a home run by Koji Chikamoto that gets the Tigers on the board. There's a fastball swung on it. It's grounded over to first. Fielded neatly by the first spin. Ito is going to retire Kondo on a ground out to three. One up and one away here. And that is going to bring up the third baseman, Ryoya Hikurihara. Nine in a row retired here now by the lefty Moinello. As the right-hander Shoji ready to go to work, here comes the pitch. Breaking ball misses up and away, and the count is 1-0 to Kurihara. Our friend Ruben says his under is looking good. Yeah, it is right now, Ruben. That is facts. Here's the pitch. It is a fastball swung on it. It is popped up. It's going to go foul into the seats over on the third base side. Counts 1-1 one one to Kurihara. Our friend Troll says he's on the Eagles with these two aces. I don't know if they're aces, but certainly Moinello and Shoji are pretty solid arms. I don't know who at Fukuoka these days would call their ace. Fastball swung on and fouled away. Counts one and two. Kodai Senga, when he was there, would be the proverbial choice at that time to be called the ace of the staff, but he left for the greener pastures of Major League Baseball. Masahiro Tanaka used to be considered the ace of the staff for Tohoku. There's a breaking ball that misses down, and the count now goes to 2-2 two and two on Kurihara. But in a lot of ways, Tanaka, his best years are behind him. So here comes the 2-2 pitch. As the right-hander works himself to the set, he kicks and delivers. Fastball swung on and missed. Curry Hara goes in the books. He's gone for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up the right fielder, Yuta Kawamura. So if my books are correct, that's going to be strikeout number five for Shoji so far tonight. It was actually a split finger pitch of the fastball variety. He was very fortunate. That one hung up in the zone a little too much. 55 pitches now for the right-hander here in inning number five. First pitch fastball is outside, and that is ball one to Kawamura. Kawamura tonight 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his first time up. 0 for 2 in the game here tonight. Our friend Zay in the house. Fastball misses down, and the count is 2-0. and oh. Zay, we missed you last night for that four-and-a-half-hour marathon that the fighters walked off at the bottom of the 12th. I would have figured you would have showed up with your pom-poms and everything going for that one. We missed you. The 2-0 pitch on the way is a fastball taken for a called strike. The count is now 2-1 and one to Kawamura. Maybe with the Eagles rolling out the, their B squad here tonight. Not any different with their ace on the mound. Fastball swung on and fouled away, and the count is now 2-2. Two and two. 
So two balls and two strikes. I've had a lot of fun in the early going. And as we said, we are going to do some major league games. And that's starting next week. We're going to start digging into that schedule. So we'll try to get a couple of games a day. And there's a fastball swung on and missed. Kawamura in the book. Strikeout number six there for the right-hander Shoji. And that will do it here in the top of the fifth for the Fukuoka Ball Club. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left the board. We are now moving to the bottom of the fifth inning. Your score is the Hawks nothing and the Eagles nothing. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back here in just a few. We appreciate you guys for listening in. Uh, the Last Drafts Baseball YouTube channel. Bottom of the fifth inning is just around the corner. We'll be back in a few. Welcome back, everybody. Levi Manello just completing his warm-up tosses, and now we got some scoring around the NPB. We'll start off in the central in the top of the third inning. The Dragons have taken a one nothing lead on the Carp. In the top of the fourth inning, the Giants have countered with two runs of their own to tie the Swallows at two. Over at Escon Field in the top of the fourth inning, the Lions are up to a 4 nothing lead on the Fighters. And the Buffaloes are holding 4 nothing lead on the Marines out of the top of the fourth inning as well. So coming about here for the Golden Eagles, it'll be Abby Ito and Tanaka to face Moinello, who kicks and delivers a first-pitch fastball that misses low for ball one. And the count is 1-0 to Abby. Only one batter over the minimum for Moinello tonight, and that can be said true for... His counterpart, Shoji, there's a fastball taken for a called strike. The count is one and one. And ironically, both of the pitchers walked the fifth batter of the game that they faced. Fastball swung on, grounded over to third. Kurihara fields it, throws to first. That's going to retire Abby on a ground out 5-3 for the first out of the inning. So one up and one away. It'll bring up Yukia Ito. A friend Zay said he got back home from Florida, really upset he didn't get to watch that game. Heck of a finish. The Lions had a 2-0 lead last night, and then they ended up kissing it away. It was the fighters who kept chipping away. He tied it to two. The game went to extra innings and then walked it off in the bottom of the 12th. First pitch breaking ball misses down in Indy, Edo, and the count is 1-0. Ito tonight flew out to left field in his only plate appearance. 0 for 3 on the season is the right-handed hitting first baseman of the Golden Eagles. Fastball swung on. That's lifted foul. It's going to reach the seats on the first base side. The count now is even at 1 and 1. So one ball and one strike. Lefty delivers again. Fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into center field. Moving over underneath it, and there to make the catch is Shudo, and that's going to retire Ito for the second out of the inning. Two gone here, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Kazuki Tanaka. Our friend Ruben Hogans was in here earlier, and he was looking for some approval of taking the under in this one, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, Rubens. Of course, the lineup that the Eagles rolled out probably would have dictated that, but the lineup that the Hawks have rolled out would speak otherwise, but both teams have been dry here tonight. 
Breaking ball misses down and in, and the count is 1-0 and on Tanaka. Buenello has retired 10 in a row here with two gone in the fifth. Pitch on the way, slow breaking ball, waved out and missed. The count is now 1-1 one one to Tanaka. Tanaka's 0 for 4 on the season. He struck out his first time tonight. He got the nod in center field. As the lefty delivers a breaking ball that misses or that swung on and missed, and the count is now 1 and 2 to Tanaka. So one ball and two strikes. Just a reminder, after this half inning, we'll do our Japanese halftime. And we're going to do it right now as that is a breaking ball waved out and missed. Tanaka down on strikes. He's gone for out number three. That is going to do it all here for the Eagles in their half of the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left the board. We are five complete in an hour and seven minutes. Can you believe that? This game is in hyperdrive. Let's keep the good times rolling when we come back in just a bit. We're going to put the cheers on loop. We'll be gone for a little bit here, as we like to call it, our Japanese halftime. We'll be back with the top of the sixth in just a bit. We are what we like to call our Japanese halftime. We'll be back in just a few minutes with all the action. Appreciate you guys for being here with us. Our friend Sales Windshield Repair says under two and a half. The way this game is going, it might be a very safe bet to make. Both of the pitchers have been electric through five. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Hawks. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Golden Eagles. Sixth inning will be around the corner in just a few. Appreciate you guys for jumping in with us tonight. We'll be right back in a bit.
Welcome back, everybody. We are just a few moments away from this game resuming. Nothing, nothing is the score between the Golden Eagles and the Fukuoka Soft Bangkoks. Maybe a little bit of history, what we, we could be witnessing here tonight. As it is a heck of a ball game here. We'll be back in just a few with all the action to resume. We thank you guys for popping in here with us on this one tonight. We'll be right back in a few. Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be Soji facing the eight, nine, and one hitters in the batting order here for the Hawks. That means Takuya Kai, Taisi Makihara, and Yukio Shudo to come to bat to face the right-hander. Only one runner has reached base tonight for the Hawks, and that was in the second inning when Kensuke Kondo drew a walk. And for the Golden Eagles, only one batter has reached base when in the second inning, Toshiki Abi reached on a walk and ironically it is both the team's five hole hitters that walked in the same spot in the batting order and that has been the only traffic thus far tonight so now it is Takuya Kai coming to bat as the right hander has completed his warm-up tosses and we're ready to resume the action for Kai he grounded out to short his first time up oh for one tonight average has dipped to 211 on the year Batting from the right side against the right-handed pitching Shoji. Pitch on the way, breaking ball for a called strike. The count is 0-1. Looks like both of the teams left their bats in the freezers before this one as they have been silenced by the starters here tonight. There's a breaking ball swung on, grounded over to short, bobbled by Murray Biashi. He's going to have to hurry. They throw to first, and they say not in time. Oh, I bet you we're going to have a look at this one. Let's see if they're going to go and have a review. I have a feeling that might be an infield hit. He did bobble the ball, did Murray Biashi. But I would have to say it may go down as a base hit on that one, even if he fielded it cleanly. Takuya Kai, for an old catcher, really runs well. It looked like he got his cleats caught, did Murray Biashi. And it doesn't look like they're going to challenge... Are the Eagles or are they? It does not look like they're going to make a challenge here as Shoji has now officially given up his first hit of the ball game as Takuya Kai is aboard. So the way Makihara has been swinging the bat, don't be surprised if he tries to sacrifice him over to second. He has really struggled at the plate. He's 0 for 1 tonight. He struck out looking his first time up. Batting 160 on your early going, 4 for 25. No signs of the bunt here, and they throw over to first base and still no sign of the bunt. So we'll see what the Hawks have up their sleeve. If their second baseman is going to square around here to drop something down. Akihara getting the start at second base. It's not just tonight, but we've seen it through the Buffalo series. Now he squares the bunt. Now he puts it down, and it's bunted foul down the first baseline. The count is 0-1 to Taisi Makihara. Wasn't really a sacrifice per se, although that's what it's going to be. It almost looked like he was trying to drag it down the first baseline. So no balls and one strength to Makihara. The third baseman of the Golden Eagles, Hideto Asamura, is in at the corner at third. We'll have to see if the first baseman, Ito, is going to be charging. It's another one he squares around a bunt, and he 
takes a fastball upstairs, and the count is now one and one. So one ball and one strength to Makihara. Third baseman Asamura in on the grass at third. See uniquely shaped cutout down the third baseline. A little bit different. It's kind of a almost like a Turkish moonish type cut. There's a ball that's thrown over to first base and diving back safely is the first baseman or as the runner at first base. So one ball and one strike as the left-handed hitting Makihara waiting here on the offering from Shoji. Right-hander steps off the back side of the rubber and we're ready to go again. So Makihara waiting on the offering as the right-hander kicks and delivers. The area squares to bunt. Makihara gets it down. It's a good one. Fielded by Shoji, underhand flips it to the first baseman, Ito. And that is going to retire Makihara. It's going to go down as a sacrifice, a one to three. He's in the books for the first out of the inning. Takuya Kai advances over to second. And that's going to bring up the top of the order in Yukio Shudo. So the first time tonight that either team has had a runner in scoring position, and Kai is that runner at second base. So Makihara does his job. Now they got a couple of cracks to try to bring home the catcher for the Hawks. And it looks like they didn't rule that as a base hit. They did rule that as an error. So the no hit portion of this game for the pitcher Shoji is intact. So E6. As that first pitch fastball misses upstairs to Shudo, ball one here. So one ball and no strikes. Right-hander works to the set position. Checks the runner Kai, now delivers a fastball that misses outside. And the count is now 2-0. and oh. So two balls and no strikes. Game between the Fighters and the Lions, it is a 4-0 lead. Or a couple of homers in that game. It was a Sato home run that counted for three runs, a three-run shot, and then a, a Kishi home run that counted for the other ones. So three off of the bat of Sato and one from Kishi. There's a fastball swung on and missed, and the count is now two and one to Shudo. All the other store scores are stable as we speak right now. So here comes the 2-1 pitch to Yukio Shudo, and it is a fastball that misses down and away. It's now 3-1. and one. If you're going to allow Shudo to reach base, you definitely maybe want to do it with a snowplow in front of him. Takui Kai, though, for a catcher runs well, but he would clog up the base pass for Shudo. So here comes the 3-1 offering as the right-hander delivers. Breaking ball, waved out and missed. Now it goes to 3-2 and two on Shudo. Friend Gracie Lynn says she's enjoyed listening quietly in the background, but she's got to go. We appreciate you for stopping in, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow night, Gracie Lynn. Thank you for your support as always. And it'll be tomorrow, Base Stars and Giants. Wish us luck. As hopefully, we'll be able to make that one work. There's a fastball that is swung on and lifted foul into the seats behind the third base dugout, and the count remains at three and two to Shudo. Enjoy the rest of your journey in Costa Rica. I'm not sure when you're back, but. I think that's coming back here in the next week or so. Come back to reality after a steady diet of Gallo Pinto. Here comes the 3-2 pitch as the right-hander holds to the set position. Now he kicks and fires. Fastball. It misses down. It's going to be ball four. And Shudo is aboard. So two runners aboard here in the sixth inning. 
That's going to bring the pitching coach out of the Golden Eagles dugout. That's going to bring the catcher waddling out to the mound. So Ishihara makes his way out there. As we mentioned at the top of the stream, the Tohoku Rocket and Golden Eagles really struggling at the outset of the season here. The Buffaloes are in last, and they are just slightly ahead of the Buffaloes. I think that is going to change quickly as we get through this month of April. In the Central League, it is the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars that are top of the heap right now in the Central League. Carp of the Dragons locked up at 500 ball. And then the Tigers, the Giants, and the Swallows. So the heavyweights in the Central are on the bottom with the exception of the Bay Stars who find themselves on top. So here comes the first offering to Hikaru Kawase, who is 0 for 2 tonight. Grounded to first and grounded to second in his two trips. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball. Take it for a called strike. The count is 0 and 1. No balls and one strike. At last, I can see why Kwase wasn't happy. It like it was on the white outside of the right-handed batter's box. Kawase is in the left-handed box, so that pitch was off of the dish. So balls and one strike to Kwase as the right-hander works himself set, now delivers. Fastball swung on and a chop foul over on the first base line. Count now goes to 0 and 2. Makes me wonder if they would have been better off maybe even bunting in this situation. Kwasi, not necessarily known for his prowess as a hitter. Bunt here could put runners at second and third, even if they loaded it to face Yanagita. They've got some dangerous hitters in Yamakawa and Kondo to follow. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Fastball swung on, chopped softly down the first baseline. It's just going to roll foul into the first base coach's box. Keeps the count at 0-2 to Kawase. So no balls and two strikes. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Eagles and Hawks locked at zeros. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Hawks in this one. No runs, no hits, one error for the Eagles. But this is the first time there's been a serious threat. The runner at second, Kai, he reached on an error by the shortstop. And shoot on the runner at first, he walked. So runners at first and second here with one gone, Kwase at the plate. Hawks looking to cash in the first run of the ballgame. Here's the pitch. Fastball just misses down. Oh, that was close. Good call by the plate umpire. That was down. So one ball and two strikes, much like when Takuya Kai was trying to get underneath pitches and jerk them up. Home plate umpire wasn't buying it here from the home catcher, Ishihara. So here comes the one-two pitch. And it is a fastball. That's taken at the knees for a called third strike. That was a lot better pitch. Up a little bit in the zone, and Kwasi's down on strike. Stood there like the house by the side of the road. He's gone for out number two. That's going to leave it all up to the designated hitter, Yuki Yanagita. You can tack another run on the board for the Buffaloes in the out-of-town scoreboard. They have a 5-0 lead now. Over top of the Chibalote Marines. So Yanagita comes to the plate. He is 0 for 2 in this one. He flew up to deep right field his first time up. And the pitch to him is a fastball that misses outside. The count is 1 0. He has also struck out today in his at bat. 
So one ball and no strikes. Right-hander working from the stretch. Shoji gets the side from his catcher. Now delivers. Fastball swung on and lifted foul down the third baseline. Count is now even at one and one. As we said, Hawks threatening here in the sixth. I'm going to be curious to see how Levon Minello responds. Not only do we have the Japanese halftime, that extended break, and now the first inning after the break or first half inning, we got ourselves a problem here. Here comes the 1-1 pitch. Fastball misses down and in, and the count now goes to 2-1. and one. So two balls and one strike. Two balls, one strike to Yanagita as the left-handed hitting designated hitter of the Hawks waits here on the offering from Shoji. Shoji really slows down here as the runners are on. And here comes the 2-1 pitch. As the right-hander checks the runner at second Kai. Here comes the offering. Fastball swung on. This ball is belted into deep ranked center field. Giving chase is the center fielder Tanaka, and he's going to haul it in on the warning track. And that is going to do it. Yanagita again for the second time hits the ball to deep right center field. At both times hauled in by the center fielder Tanaka. But that is a ride he was given. So no runs in the inning, no hits. There was an error and there were two runners left aboard. Your score as we move to the bottom of the sixth inning. It is the Golden Eagles nothing and the Hawks nothing. We'll be back in just a few. Appreciate you guys for listening in tonight. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, everybody. We're moving to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's going to be the eight, nine, and one hitters to come to bat for the Golden Eagles. It'll be Ishihara, Murray Biashi, and the top of the order, Tatsumi, to face the left-hander, Levon Moinello, who will be coming on for his sixth inning of work. Moinello, in this one, for his part, has retired 11 in a row. And he has on the docket tonight, as far as we're concerned, I've got him through six strikeouts through his five innings of work. On the flip side is opposite number, Shoji. He got himself into a little bit of a trouble that last half inning. It was a Takuya Kai reached on an error. And then he walked to Shudo with one out. He was able to strike out Kawase and get Yanagita to fly out to deep center field to end the inning. For his part in this affair, we've got him with Seven strikeouts, if our math is correct, through the six innings. So this is going to bring to the plate Ishihara. He is 0 for 1 tonight. And the first pitch to the big right-handed hitting catcher is a breaking ball that misses up for ball one, and the count is 1-0. and 0. Ishihara entered the fray hitting 143 with a homer and an RBI. As there is a Breaking ball that drops in for a called strike. The count now is one and one to the catcher for the Golden Eagles. Right-hander Monello rocking into the windup delivers. Fastball misses down, and the count is now two and one. So two balls and one strike.
And Monello delivers another breaking ball and it misses down, and the count goes to three and one. So maybe he has lost a little command of his pitches since having this break or the extended break, the Japanese halftime, as we call it, plus the length of that last half inning. Monello gets himself a new baseball. As he didn't like the one he had, here comes the 3-1 pitch. He rocks into the windup and delivers. Fastball swung on, popped up into shallow left field. Moving back underneath it is the shortstop, Kawase. He's there. He makes the catch, and that is going to retire Ishihara for out number one here in the sixth inning. So one up and one gone. It's going to bring up the shortstop, Itsuki Moribayashi. For this part of this game, we have really skipped along here. We're in the last half of the sixth inning. And it's taken us 93 minutes to play this. Both of these teams have done their part to get on and off the field quick. There's a first pitch breaking ball swung on and missed. Count as 0-1 to Murray Biashi. As we said, a reminder, we'll be back on the airwaves again tomorrow with all the action between the Bay Stars and the Giants. Hopefully you can join us for that one. There's a breaking ball. This is down, and the count is even to one and one. So one ball and one strike. Minello ready to go again. Gets the sign from Kai, rocking into the windup and delivering. Breaking ball misses down again. The count is now two and one. Curious to know what the pitch count for Minello would be tonight. As he went eight strong innings the other night against the Buffaloes, unfortunately, last week he took the loss. So here comes the 2-1. Rocking into the windup, he kicks and fires. Breaking ball swung on and fouled away down the first baseline, and the count now goes even to 2-2 two and two on Murray Biashi. As we mentioned before, we'll keep you updated on all the scoring as there are a four other games going on around the NPB as that fastball swung on and fouled into the feet of Murray Biash. He's going to run that one off. It is two balls and two strikes still. Right onto the inside of the foot. I don't know if he had protection where he hit it there. It looked like it was on the inside top part. If you've ever fouled the fastball off of your foot, you will know how hard that actually feels. It hurts. There's a breaking ball that is down, and the count now goes to three and two. Our friend Trolls that. He said, if it wasn't for me, we would have never learned so much about the MPB and how to pronounce the names. Yeah, sometimes I think we butcher the names a little bit, and uh, that's not because it's not intentional. It's because of just our enunciation and have to work on some of the stuff. Even when I was in Japan, picked up some of the way in which the pronunciations were announced or announced. So there's a breaking ball swung on and grounded foul. The count remains at three and two. Some of the names are easier than others. And some of the names for us North Americans, it is a little bit more of a challenge. So three balls and two strikes to Murray Biashi as Monello delivers. Fastball that just misses down. That's going to be ball four. Murray Biashi is going to get himself a one-out walk. And that is going to bring up the top of the order in Konsuke Tetsumi. Yeah, we had one guy in here, though, Troll, I have to say. A couple years ago or, or last year, whatever it was, he just absolutely just gives you a, a hard time on how he enunciates some of the names. One of the things, I've got a couple of media guides from last year, and one thing I would say that they could do is to give you the phonetic pronunciation of some of the names like they do in Major League Baseball. Squaring the bunt is the designated hitter Tatsumi, but they throw over to first base. Diving back in time is Murray Biashi. Troll says when the NPB gets mainstream, yeah, maybe so. 
So here comes the pitch. They square the bunt. It's popped up, and it is going to be cut by Takuya Kai. Terrible bunt there by the rookie Tatsumi. He's not had a good night tonight. His first at-bats, or official at-bats in the NPB have gone strikeout, strikeout, and now a pop-out to the catcher. This will probably be a night to forget on the offensive side, especially when you are the DH. So he's gone for out number two, and that's going to leave it up to the second baseman, Hiroto Kobakata. Troll says, you're always going to offend somebody. Absolutely. If not by saying the names, by describing the play that just happened. Some Golden Eagle fan will probably take offense to that. Here comes the pitch. First pitch, breaking ball, take it for a called strike. Count is 0-1 to Kobakata. Kobakata tonight, 0 for 2. He's flown to right and grounded to the pitcher. Ground ball to the pitcher was a phenomenal play by Levon Minello. Come off the mound, backhand the ball, and throw a cricket-style ball to first base. Be able to retire Kobakata. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and lifted foul down the left field line, and the count now is 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. Been working off some hot chocolate tonight, but I don't know what I've eaten, but I have a feeling I'm having a little, I don't say allergic reaction to something, but something that is bothering the mouth and the vocal cords. Here comes the O2 pitch. As the... Offering is a fastball missing upstairs, and the count is one and two to Kobakata. Only thing I could think of is the hot sauce that I put on my, I guess, burrito, I would call it tonight, my wrap. So one ball and two strikes to Kobakata. As the lefty Moinello comes to the set, he checks the runner at first. Now he Kicks and throws over to first base and getting back in time is Murray Biashi. I wondered here if they would put him in motion at some point. It's one and two to Kobakata. He gets thrown out. At least he got Kobakata to lead off in the next half inning. If he steals second base, then you've got the runner in scoring position. Murray Biashi can move okay. He's not a well known base stealer. Here's the one, two. Instead, they throw over again to first base and again getting back in time is Murray Biashi. If anything, it's probably exposed the lack of move that Moinello has. So here comes the one two pitch as the lefty kicks and delivers. Fastball swung on, and sure enough, Murray Biashi was in motion, but that's going to reach the seats down the third baseline. And the count is one and two to Kobakata. So one ball and two strikes. As they get themselves a new baseball ready to, to rub it up and go back at it again. One and two here to Kobakata as the runner at Murabayashi establishes his lead. And here's the pitch. Fastball down a, in the dirt, and Murabayashi has a stolen second base successfully. Tough pitch there for Takuya Kai. He had to go down to block the pitch. He got up to his feet quickly. He wasn't able to get a throw off. So one and two is the count here. Not a bad jump. Looked like it was on first movement by the base runner, Murray Biashi. So two balls and two strikes now to Kobakata. As the lefty Moinello kicks and delivers, it's a breaking ball that just misses. Count is now th three and two to Kobakata. Dragons have extended their lead in the top of the fifth over the carp, three nothing. No 
Oh, Carp, what are you guys doing to the Dragons? Making them play so well. Second place in the Central League right now on the line. There's a fastball swung on tap foul down the first baseline. Count is three and two. So three balls and two strikes it is. Kata digging in, waiting here on the offering from Moinello. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and fouled off. I think it got the home plate umpire. It's going to keep the count at three and two to Kobakata. This is going to bring up the ninth pitch of the at bat once the home plate umpire collects himself. Talking about the carp and the dragons, they're both at 500 baseball. They're three and three, although the dragons are three, three and one. Winner of that game will have sole possession of second place behind Yokohama. So three balls and two strikes to Kobakata as he waits here on the offering from the left-handed throwing Moinello. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on, a fouled into the feet of Kobakata, and the count remains at three and two. Trevor Parker says, is this nine innings? I hope it is. It'll play softball innings in the NPB. Nine inning ball game would be the case. Again, Troll says he's got the Swallows doing well this year. Not sure what's going on in their camp as much. Breaking ball misses down. It's going to be ball four. Minello has issued a walk. That is going to put runners at first and second. It's going to bring Yuya Ogo to the plate. It's going to bring the pitching coach of the Hawks out to the mound. We're going to have a stoppage in the action here. We had a play tonight, put in a few nickels down on a parlay. It was kind of like a dartboard type of shot. On all six games, we put down a couple of bucks. We played the spreads. The payout would have been over $500 if we happened to get one right. Happened to get the one that we made the picks right. Don't expect it to come in. That is for certain. But you never know. A couple of them, it looks like we might hit on. <laughs> but a couple of them here, probably not. Doesn't look like it is going to be in our favor in that particular line. Here comes the offering now from Levoin and Monello. As he holds to the set, kicks and delivers, breaking ball that drops in for a called strike on Ogo. Ogo tonight is 0 for 2. He has struck out as he was thrown out by the catcher to the first baseman for the first time and the second time he struck out looking. So how many different ways can you go down via the strikeout? I guess we'll find out tonight. Ogo is working on that magic. Here comes the 0-1. Pitch on the way, breaking ball, waved that and missed, and the count now goes to 0-2. I'm not so sure. It was an overcast day. They weren't really calling for rain, but it looks like there could be maybe a shower moving in here in Tohoku. Certainly hope not. Hopefully that doesn't disrupt the way that this game has been pitched. 93 pitches here for Marnello, ready to deliver pitch number 94. Pitch on the way. Fastball just misses inside. Oh, boy, that looked pretty good. Ogo sold it as he did a moonwalk out of the batter's box.
troll says he's about to be a degenerate and play a comeback on the carp. Yeah, it may not be a bad thing. I just don't know who's going to hit for the carp this year. They've lost a couple of bats over the last couple of years. There's a breaking ball swung on, and this one's fouled off into the catcher, Takuya Kai. One ball and two strikes to Ogo. As Kai has to collect himself, be ready to resume the action here in just a moment. So Moynella ready to go again. Here comes the one-two pitch to Ogo. As the lefty kicks and delivers, breaking ball swung on and tap foul right at home plate. Count is still one and two. Sometimes if they pan the crowd, we can see if there is indeed going to be some sort of rain. We don't see anything on the helmets of the base runners at this point. And the crowd right now at this point looks like they're in good form. So maybe it's just the dusk. Starting to roll in. Yes, yeah, so it is getting to approaching the four o'clock hour local time. Our friend Troll says, I need the red on red jersey again, and we know we don't like them. Yeah, it's hard. It's difficult. They have those this year again. Fastball misses outside. It's now two and two to Ogo. For those of you who don't know the Hiroshima Carp, last year had introduced a, a jersey with a red number with a black outline on a red jersey it's impossible to see whether you're at the state it's first of all you can't see it when you're at the stadium you might as well just be wearing a red top and then you've got black lettering not white lettering on the jersey for the nameplates makes it impossible to see here comes the 2-2 pitch and there is a breaking ball swung on. It's grounded over to the right side of the infield, fielded neatly by Makihara. He throws to first. It's a ground out four to three. Ogo's in the books for the third out of the inning, and that is going to do it. There was no runs in the inning, no hits, no errors, but there were two runners left aboard. We are now through six complete. Your score is the Hawks, no score, and the Eagles, no score. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be back in just a few. Neither of these teams are swinging the lumber tonight, but we'll be back in just a bit. After we take this little break, got to give our voice a rest, give ourselves a fresh drink. We'll be back in the saddle for more. We'll be right back in a few. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rise in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last year It's a new me, never Welcome back, everybody It is gonna be the seventh inning to start here for the starter Shoji 81 pitches through his six innings of work, and he is going to be facing the heart of the order. It'll be Yamakawa, Kondo, and Kurihara to come to bat here in inning number seven. Both teams looking to find their way onto the scoreboard as it is a nothing nothing ball game, and Yamakawa, who steps into the plate, homeward on opening night. 
is in scoring position when he steps into the batter's box. Here comes the first pitch. Fast ball swung on this ball is lifted into shallow left field. Moving back on it is the shortstop, and he's going to make the catch. And that is going to retire Yamakawa with one pitch. There is one away here in the seventh inning. That'll bring up the left fielder, Kensuke Kondo. My friend Troll says that it's a banger, a low-key a song. Yeah, it is. For whatever reason, chased people out of our stream at a particular point, but that's the way it goes. It's been an odd night tonight. We've had people come in, people come out. So Kondo striding to the plate. He is 0 for 1 in this one. He's grounded to first, and he has walked his two trips to the plate. As the right-hander Soji kicks and delivers. It is a breaking ball taken for a called strike. The count is 0 and 1. I'm not sure I can take it. We had last night's game went extra innings. 12 innings until the walk-off. I don't know if I could handle another 12-inning affair tonight. Breaking ball misses down, and the count now goes to 1-1 one and one on Kondo. And it does look like it could be raining there in, in Tohoku, as it looks like some people have the rain gear pulled up down the third base line. In fact, that it even looks like the camera is covered. Some people, it's just... Par for the course, they're not moving. There's a fastball that misses outside. The count is two and one. So two balls and one strike. Triple nine world says, who wins, Eagles or Hawks? Well, we've got Hawks in this one. He says he bet on the Eagles. That is one ugly lineup the Eagles have rolled out tonight. But the Hawks, who have a better lineup, have not done much better there's a fastball swung on and this ball is going to be the first hit of the ball game for either team as we're in the top of the seventh Kensky Kondo with a base hit single and he has broken up the no hitter or the starter Shoji hit no hit bid is gone and the Hawks have themselves a runner at first with one gone and that brings up the third baseman Ryoya Kurihara appreciate you for stopping in here tonight 99 or 999 world. I think that's how we would say your name. And we thank you for popping in to listen with us here. So here comes the first offering to the left handed hitting Kurihara. It's a breaking ball that drops in for a called strike. And the count is quickly 0 and 1. Kurihara tonight has struck out both of his plate appearances. Three for 27 to start the season. He's batting 111. The bats are in the freezer. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and lifted foul down the left field line. Count is 0-2. Our friend Triple Nine World says, damn, the Hawks are going to win. Well, of course the Hawks win, but the Hawks have rolled out a regular lineup, which has got their, other than maybe Emma Mia at, Emma Mia is not in the lineup, and they've DH'd Yanagita tonight, and they've got a right fielder who is a rookie. So outside of that, pretty much those two are the, what I would call the regulars. There's a pitch that misses down, and there's going to run the count to one and two on Kurihara. For the most part, it's a very strong lineup. The Eagles lineup, it's the who's who of who. Kobakata and Asamura, the regulars from recent years. There are a couple of other players in the lineup who do get playing time, but everybody else, it's pretty thin lineup. I almost wanted to see if they have a virus going through the locker room. There's a fastball, fastball taken inside. The count is now two and two. That's what the beauty of the baseball is. You never know. Who's going to win? When you look at the lineups when they were rolled out tonight, you would have figured that it would have been automatic that the Hawks, you could just put a W next to their name. Why even play the game? But in the particular case here tonight, 
That is definitely not the case. Here's the pitch. Fast ball that goes all the way to the backstop and that rounding second and heading all the way to third is Kondo. Oh, the batter, Kurihara, had to skip rope to get out of the way. That's going to go down as a wild pitch, but a wild pitch that allows Kondo to get two bases. Oh, that's going to hurt. We got the manager of my coming out. I think he's the batter was hit by a pitch. I wonder if they're going to go and have a look, if that's something you can challenge here. I'm going to get a look at that one. That may not be the case. It was a breaking ball that was down in the dirt. And it did look like it got by. Actually, it's poor technique by the catcher. He tried to backhand the ball, and it ended up spiking in the dirt and going all the way to the backstop. But that is going to be the case. It's three balls and two strikes to Curry Haro. The runner at third now on that wild pitch is Kondo. So two bases on a wild pitch. Infield is in here for the Golden Eagles. They're going to try to cut a runoff at the plate. The right-hander works himself to the set position. Here comes the 3-2 offering. And it's a fastball that misses down, and the count is ball four, and that is going to draw a walk for Kurihara. And that is going to bring up the rookie, Yuta Kawamura. Well, at least it's supposed to bring out. It's going to bring the pitching coach out of the dugout, so we'll see if they're going to make a pinch hitter here. As we said, it's supposed to be Kurihara. Our friend 999 World says 50 bucks down the drain if the Hawks win. But it's never over. Lots of, game, lots of baseball left here. Three innings of it, in fact. Lots of things can happen. So runner at third is Kondo. Runner at first is Kurihara. And it is the rookie Kawamura who is still coming to bat here. 0 for 3 in his MPB career, 0 for 2 tonight. Grounded out to first and struck out in his two trips to the plate. And here comes the first offering. Fastball misses outside, and the count is 1-0. and oh. I'd be curious to see if they're going to put Kurihara in motion here. Maybe to try to stay out of the double play, maybe in a positive count. They might do that. 1-0 and oh here to the left-handed hitting. Kawamura. And here comes the 1-0 pitch. Pitch on the way. Fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into deep left field. This should be enough to get the run in. Making the catch in left field is Abby. Tagging at third is Kondo. He's going to come in and score. And the Hawks have taken the lead here. one to nothing. Sacrifice fly by Kawamura. He's going to be retired for the second out of the inning. He picks himself up an RBI. And Kondo crosses the plate with the first run of the game. And it is a one to nothing lead here for Fukuoka. That's going to leave it all up to the catcher, Takuya Kai. Our friend Tanami in the house here, and he says, nice. Obviously happy with that. We appreciate you for being here. Luke says he just lost his savings. Well, we'll play some commercials for you, Luke, so you can cry in the arms of those. So here comes Takuya Kai to the plate. He is 0 for 2 tonight. Fastball swung on and a lifted foul behind home plate. The count is 0 and 1. He is grounded to the shortstop and reached on an error. 
That's the first run of the ball game. Mr. Cap in the house. How are you doing tonight? Well, we appreciate you for being here. So the right-hander working to the set. Here comes the pitch from Shoji. It's a fastball taken for a called strike. Count now goes to 0-2 to Kai. Question is, is the one run going to hold up? Well, if they use Matsumoto, if they use Fuji, and they use Osuna tonight, there is a strong likelihood for that to happen. All three of those pitchers can lock this one down. Shoji steps off the backside of the rubber. As he is ready to go again here. To Kyukai waiting on the offering. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball, and that is another backhand job by the catcher. It is going to advance the runner Curry Hara into scoring position. That's another wild pitch. That's the second one of the inning. So Curry Hara, the runner at second. Kondo, the runner at... Th Sorry, Curry Hara, the runner at second. Takuya Kai has a one and two count on him. The runner, Kondo, was able to advance two bases on a wild pitch earlier in the inning. I've seen batters advance on one wild pitch, let alone two. So here comes the one-two pitch. As the right-hander kicks and delivers. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. Kai goes in the books. He's gone for the third out of the inning. And that is going to do it here for the seventh. There was one run in the inning on the benefit of one hit. No errors and one runner left the board. As we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, it is the Hawks one and the Eagles nothing. Hang tight, everybody. We'll be back in a bit. We appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight on the Last Drops Baseball YouTube channel. This one's for our friend Luke. This is Eric Fox, formerly of the Oakland A's and Texas Rangers baseball teams. If you want to learn about Japanese baseball, see Coach Fred of Last Raps Baseball. If you want baseball instruction, see Coach Fred. If you want to learn about golf, do not go to Coach Fred. Fred, what kind of club is this? At Last Raps Baseball, we know baseball. Welcome back, everybody. We are moving to the bottom of the seventh inning. Our friend, the living room, is in the house tonight. And he is asking if we are double dipping tonight. We are not. We did that four and a half hour marathon last night. It didn't get done till 6.30 in the morning Pacific time. So we are getting this one done and calling it a night. We'll be back on the airways tomorrow with the Giants ball game against the Bay Stars. 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 a.m. Eastern, depending on what side of the country that you are in Canada or the United States. So coming to bat, or slated to come to bat here for the Golden Eagles in their half of the seventh, supposed to be Asamura, Abby, and Ito. And we do have a pitching change. It is going to be number 48 entering the fray, and this is going to be Koya Fuji, so a little bit different than what we anticipated. We figured it would go Matsumoto, Fuji, and Osuna, but instead they threw us a curveball, so to speak. 
we are going to see Fuji here first in replace of Levon Moinello. Only one hit between these two teams tonight as the Hawks were able to garner a base hit off the bat of Kensky Kondo to get the with one out in the seventh inning. So here we go for the bottom of the seventh. And the first pitch on the way is a fastball swung on and fouled away. The count is quickly 0-1 to Asamura. Asamura tonight 0 for 2, flown to center and grounded to third. His season average 0-8-0. That is tough. So here comes the one strike offering as the pitch is on the way. It's a fastball that pours in for a called strike. And the count now is no balls and two strikes. Right hander ready to go as he comes to the set position. He kicks and he fires. Fastball swung on and if it foul down the right field line and the count remains at 0 and 2. So no balls and two strikes. Mr. Cap asks us who do we have winning the Dinos or Ladners? Don't really do much with the KBO, so I can't really help you on that one. We'd have to get the dartboard out, and that's where we'd have to defer to the living room. There was a fastball that misses down and away, and the count is one and two to Asabara. KBO is not really our thing. Although my plan is in 2025 to try to get to a half dozen KBO games. I wouldn't mind seeing some baseball in Korea. So here comes the one-two pitch as the right-hander delivers a fastball down. It's now two and two. So Fuji got ahead in the count 0 oh and 2, but now Asimura has battled it back to even. Friend of the living room says Ann Landers is pretty hot. Depending on the size of the goggles you're wearing on your nose, that might be the case. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. As the right-hander delivers, it's a fastball that misses down and away, and the count now goes to 3-2 and two on Asamura. So Fuji had him in the hole, and now he's about to let him off the hook. Three balls and two strikes it is. So Fuji ready to face the right-handed hitting Asamura here with a 3-2 count. Here comes the pitch as he kicks and fires. Fastball misses down and in. It's going to be ball four, a leadoff walk here. That is going to be the fourth base runner that the Eagles have had tonight, all on base on balls. So Asamura, the runner at first, that's going to bring up the left fielder, Tashiki Abbey. So our friend Triple Nine World, who was in here earlier asking if we think that the Eagles are going to win this game. Well, who knows? The Hawks may have squandered that opportunity to add more in the seventh. A leadoff walk can often kill you. So Abby is already showing that he wants to bunt. The runner at first is Asamura. And here comes the offering from the right-hander, Fuji. Steady throws to first and getting back in time. Friend of living room is trying to project the women that we prefer. As... The living room is masking himself. We know that deep down, he really is attracted to Lizzo. And there's not that there's anything wrong with that. So here we go. Here comes the offering, as it is a fastball that misses down and in, and the count is 1-0 and to Abby. Abby was squaring to bunt. But that pitch was nowhere near the zone. So we've got seven pitches now here. Or check that. Eight pitches now from Fuji. Five of them for balls. 
So here comes the 1-0 pitch. As the right-hander checks the runner over at first, Abby again squaring to bunt. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses down, and it's dropped by Kai. Count is 2-0. and That pitch actually wasn't all that bad. Makes me wonder if Kai would have held on to it if he would have been given an opportunity for a strike. I'm going to go back in the forecast of these games. I don't remember rain being in the forecast in Tohoku tonight. There have been in other places, but not necessarily here. Tigers have now doubled up their tally on the Swallows tonight. It's 4-2 to two for the Tigers. As they throw over first base and diving back is the runner Asamura. Looking ahead to tomorrow night's games, they often will announce the starting pitchers during this ball game here. There is a fastball that misses down. It's now three balls and no strikes. Fuji having some difficulty here locating his pitches. We're kind of hoping it would be the Marines and the Buffaloes tonight that would have Roki Suzaki, but he is going to go tomorrow. Carter Stewart's going to go for the Hawks tomorrow. We would have maybe liked to have seen him go tonight, although Levon Manello was not a bad choice. Here's the pitch. It's a fastball taken for a called strike. It's now 3-1 and one to Abby. Miguel Yajuri goes tomorrow night for the Swallows. Against the Tigers, who will bring Psyche to the hill. And the way things are going there, they could be looking for a sweep of the Swallows. They can hold on to that lead tonight. So here comes the 3 1 pitch. As Fuji checks the runner over at first, he works set to the belt. And here comes the offering. Instead, he throws over to first and diving back in time is Asamura. So three balls and one strike to Toshiki Abi. Batting here with the runner at first and nobody out in the seventh. He is still squaring the bunt. He has shown it early. As the right-hander, Fuji, holds himself set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball, take it for a called strike. Now it's 3-2 and two to Abby. Abby pulled back. That pitch had some inside run to it, or arm side run. that backed him off of the plate. So three balls and two strikes to the right-handed hitting left fielder of the Golden Eagles as Fuji holds to the set. Here's the pitch. Fastball down. It's going to be ball four. Back-to-back -back walks issued here by the Fukuoka right-hander. Oh, boy. Not a good sign. That's going to bring up Yukia Ito to the plate. It's going to bring the shortstop Kawasi into the mound, and the pitching coach is on a full-on sprint to the pitcher's mound. We've got ourselves a storm brewing here, and it's not the rain that's starting to fall in Tohoku either. Fuji is all over the place. We we started to see earlier with Fuji earlier this season that he has not the sharpness that he had in years past, or at least the last couple of years. When you wonder about why he was out of the NPB for a bit, 
pitched for the Hiroshima Carp. And that is the way it kind of went. We do look like we have a pinch runner at first base for Tohoku. It looks like it's Ryosuke Tatsume. So Tatsumi in to pinch run for Toshiki Abi. So we're going to see if where he lands in the outfield. So Ryosuke Tatsumi, that's two Tatsumis in the ball game for the Golden Eagles at this point. He joins the designated hitter, Kansuki Tatsumi. Runner at second is Asimura. Runner at first is Tetsumi. Yukiya Ito at the plate. He's flown to left and flown to center, but he's already squaring to bunt. So we're going to see if he can get one down here. Here's the pitch. And that ball is bunted. It's a good one down the first baseline. Kai fields that he throws to first. That's going to go down as a sacrifice, two to four. It's going to erase Ito for the first out of the inning. It advances Asimura to third. Tetsumi advances over to second. And that is going to bring up the center fielder, Kazuki Tanaka. Well, we'll see if it does, because Tanaka has not exactly had a great night at the plate. He is 0 for 2 in this one. He has struck out both times. What a great bunt there by the first baseman, Ito. Fundamental baseball, doing the little things right. So... Second and third is the situation. The Fukuoka infield is in. As they're going to try to cut the runoff at the plate. Runner at third, Asimur. Runner at second, Tetsumi. Here comes the first offering here to Tanaka. It looks like we may have a pinch hitter as that fastball misses outside for a ball. It looks like it's Okajima. It was come up here. We didn't get the announcement. And that's exactly who it is. Takara Okajima in to pinch hit. So Okajima, the batter here. As he is pinch hitting. So some of the regulars are starting to find their way into the lineup now. As Tatsumi has entered the game and Okajima here now too. There's a fastball swung on and fouled away. Count runs even at one and one. So the youngsters have held the Hawks at bay. And now the veterans are coming in trying to do the yeoman's work at the back end to Get this ball game knotted up or possibly even take the lead for the Golden Eagles. So here comes the 1-1 pitch as the right-hander gets the sign from Takuya Kai. Kojima waggling the bat. And Fuji works to the set. This is going to be an action pitch. Here's the 1-1. And there is a fastball delivered. It's lined foul into the netting down the left field line. Count is now one and two to Okajima. Hopefully you guys can join us for tomorrow night for more action. When we do the game between the Giants and the Bay Stars. Coming to you from the Tokyo Dome at the egg. One of the things that I thought was interesting last year is when you go to a ball game, you can actually leave the park and re-enter. And when you go to the game where the Giants play, that's exactly what you can do. You can walk around the outside and come back in. There's a breaking ball that is swung on and it's grounded. Is it fair down the first base line? We're going to wait and see. It looks like it is. It's going to be fair. I'm going to have to see what's going on here. I looked like it might have hit the umpire. And Okajima looks like he is in at second base, and that is going to give the Eagles a 2-1 to one lead. That's crazy. Ball was hit down the first base line. It looked like it took a hop. It either hit the base or possibly hit the umpire the way that he moved to get out of the way. 
But now they have cashed in two runs as Asamura has scored, as has Tatsumi. We'll get the look at this again on the highlight. That's exactly what happened. The ball hit the umpire. And because the umpire was behind the fielders, it's going to allow that to play to continue or at least to stand. So two to one now, the Eagles have the lead here in the seventh inning. So the runner at first is Okajima. He'll be accredited with a base hit there. And that brings up the catcher Ishihara, who takes a first pitch fastball low for a ball. And the count is one and oh. So one ball and no strikes. So in the event that the umpire is in the field of play ahead of the fielders, if he was struck with the ball, then the batter would be awarded a hit. And the runners would advance if forced or as forced. There's a fastball that misses down and in. Counts now 2-0 and oh to the catcher Ishihara. There is action in the Fukuoka bullpen. They've got a couple of right-handers up and throwing. But 2-1 right now, the lead has swung over to the Golden Eagles. Trevor Parker says 5-for-5. Five five. I'm not sure tonight I'm going to be 5-for-5 five five or 6-for-6. Six six. As that ball is knocked foul down the first baseline, it looked like he wanted to bunt it was Ishihara. So two balls and a strike. That was really, really weird play. But you never know what's going to happen. The Golden Eagles bullpen has yet to arrive, and that could be an adventure in itself. They no longer have their closer, Yuki Matsui, as he is in Major League Baseball with the Padres. He pitched again today for them. Here's the pitch. That ball is bunted down the first baseline. It's going to be fielded by Fuji. He throws to first. It's going to go down as a sacrifice, two to four. It's going to advance Okajima over to second. So gone for the second out of the inning is Ishihara, and that's going to bring up the shortstop at Suki Muribayashi. So Murbiashi, 0 for 1. He has drawn a walk tonight as well. As he strides to the plate here to face Fuji for the first time. Two gone here in the seventh. Two runs already on the board. They haven't announced that as a hit for the Golden Eagles yet. I don't know what's up with the scoring. A little bit delayed on that. The first pitch is a breaking ball that misses down. Count 1-0 and to Murray Biashi. This game here was cruising right along as both teams had no hitters through six innings, and that has significantly changed here in the seventh. Eagles holding a 2-1 to one lead now. So here comes the 1-0 pitch. As the right-hander checks the runner at second base, he works himself set and now delivers. Fastball taken for a called strike. The count is even now at 1-1. One and one. We've been keeping the pulse of the out-of-town games. Marines have got to run back on the Buffaloes. It's 5-1 now. Buffaloes, that is in the bottom of the seventh inning. Here comes the 1-1 pitch as the right-hander holds set. Checks the runner and now delivers. Fastball ticket for a called strike. Count knows 1-2 and two on Murray Biashi. So one ball and two strikes. 
Runner at second, Okajima, two gone here in the seventh inning. Right-hander against the right-hander. Fuji kicks and fires. Fastball swung on and missed. Too little, too late for Fuji as he is unable to put away some of the other batters here. The walks kill the Hawks in this inning. Two walks back-to-back to, back to begin the inning to Asamura and to Abby. And then a sacrifice bunt and then a hit by Okajima knocking in a pair of runs. Has the score line now. The Tohoku Rakuten Gold Eagles 2 and the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks won. In our world, it is two runs, one hit, no errors, and one runner left aboard. As we are through seven, we'll be back in just a few. Appreciate you guys for being with us. we got to go get ourselves another drink of water. We're coming back for the eighth inning in just a bit. It is raining in Tohoku. And we'll be back in just a few. Steve here from outside his refrigerator that a lot of you like so much. So let's go inside. There's my hot sauces and other stuff. Let's see what we can do here for Freddy. Awesome game, Freddy. Keep up the good work. We love the baseball. So why don't we rip open Garbage Pail Kids just for you and the listeners. Large Marge, she belongs in the fridge. Liberty Libby, well, she belongs down here on the beer. Apple Cory, hey, he's pretty cool. Put him on that beer up here. And Target Margaret, all oh, Series 3 Chrome, Garbage Pail Kids. Freddy, back to you in the game and everybody else. Please enjoy everything he does and tip him nicely. Welcome back, everybody. It is the right-hander Nick Turley coming into the ball game as he is going to be coming on in relief here. To begin the eighth inning, he will replace Kosi Soji with the first seven innings here tonight. So Nick Turley on in relief. It'll be our, our first look at him in the NPB. And we have a pinch hitter for the Hawks. As for Ticey Makihara, his night will be done. It's going to be Adam Walker. Coming in to pinch hit here for him. So Turley against Walker. And the first pitch from the left-hander is a fastball that misses outside. For ball one, count is 1-0. and oh. I would expect that Masaki Mamori may be coming in at second base. Defensive changes in the outfield for the Eagles as that fastball is swung on. It is lifted foul. It's going to drift off into the seats. Count one and one to Walker. Ryosuke Tatsumi is going to take over in center field, and Takara Okajima is going to move over into left field. Okajima came in to pinch hit, and he had that single that knocked in a pair. In the seventh inning here, Ryosuke Tatsumi came on to pinch run for Abby, and he came in and scored the second run of the inning. So here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball misses down it, and it's now 2-1 to Walker. So two balls and one strike. Lefty Turley leaning in, getting his sign from his catcher, ready to go back to work. As he holds at the belt and now delivers. Fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into deep center field, but not going to be deep enough. As underneath it is Tatsumi, he's there to make the catch. And Adam Walker is retired for the first out of the inning. One up and one away. It'll bring in the top of the order, Yukio Shudo, to the plate. Scores from around the NPB. The, at the Jinju in the bottom of the seventh, the Swallows have got to run back. 
They're trailing the Tigers 4-3. to three. Dragons up 4 nothing on the carpets in the top of the 7th. Pacific League action. Lions are up 4 nothing on the Fighters. That's in the bottom of the 8th. And 5-1 for the Buffaloes over the Marines. That's in the top of the 8th inning. And Yukio Shudo squares the bunt, and he fouls that one off down on the third base side. No balls and one strike to Shudo. Shudo trying to find a way on base. He is 7 for 30, hitting 233 this year. As the left-hander truly delivers, it's a breaking ball that misses down, and the count goes to 1-1. One and one. As we said, Nick Turley, first our, our first opportunity to see him. He was with the Carp last year. There's a fastball that misses down, and it goes all the way to the backstop. Really don't like the glove work of the catcher, Ishihara. Backhands the ball, doesn't get his body in front of it far too often, and it can be a recipe for disaster when there's base runners on base. There's a pitch. It is a fastball that misses inside. It's now three and one. Turley, the six foot five left hander, had a career 0 and 5 record in Major League Baseball. As he delivers a fastball that misses inside, it's going to be ball four to Shudo. That's not the guy you want to walk. He is aboard with a base on balls. That's going to bring up Hikaru Kawase. Turley had spent time at the big league level in 2017 with the Minnesota Twins and in 2020 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. So he spent the last couple of seasons with the Carp and now joining Tohoku for the first time this year. With his two years at the Carp, he was 9-5 and five with a 2.39 ERA, pretty respectable numbers. As Kwase steps into the plate here, he is 0 for 3 tonight. And he bunts down the third baseline, and it's a good one. They're going to have to hurry to get him. They do. And Yukio Shudo, maybe asleep at the switch. He was safe at second base, but nobody was at third. I think the catcher forgot to get down the line to cover. That's, again, that's the catcher, Ishihara, having a brain cramp. That's usually the responsibility in that situation for him to get there, but it's going to move Shudo over to second. It's going to go down as a sacrifice. It'll be five to three. Gone for the second out is Kwasi, and that's going to bring up Yuki Yanagita. Well, for Yanagita tonight, he is 0 for three. He has hit the ball twice really, really hard. Off the starter, Soji took two balls to the warning track in right center field. There's a fastball swung on this ball. is belted deep right field. This is another great swing. Is this ball got the legs? And it is. It's going to be gone. A two-run homer for Yuki Yanagita. He just missed the first two earlier tonight. Not by much, but he doesn't miss that one as he deposits a two-run shot into the seats. And the Hawks have regained the lead here in the eighth inning, three to two. Two-run bomb off the bat of Yuki Yanagita has regained the lead. And the Hawks are flapping their wings here, and the Golden Eagles have just landed. And that is going to bring up the first baseman, Hatake Yamakawa. Friend Tyler says he could use a Swallows comeback. He said he got the chance to watch Paul Skeens today. There's a fastball that misses down, and the count is 1-0. and Maybe Tyler will offer us his thoughts on Skeens. Because I really liked what Skeens had to offer when I saw him pitch in spring training. Here's the 1-0. Fastball swung on and fouled away, and the count is one ball and one strike to Yamakawa. Of course, I saw him on TV, not in person. But very, very, very impressed. So here comes the 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball misses down, and the count now goes to 2-1. and one.
Tyler says, never mind, the Eagles just ruined his parlay. Ah, the game's never over yet. We're still in the eighth inning. Here comes the 2-1. Fastball swung on, grounded over to short, fielded by Murray Biashi. He throws to first, but too little too late as it's a ground out 6-3 for the third out of the inning. Damage done here in the eighth. Hawks get two runs to take the lead on a two-run homer by Yuki Ianagita. There was one hit, there were no errors, and there was nobody left aboard. Your score as we move to the bottom of the eighth inning is the Tuhoku Rakuten Golden Eagles trailing the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks 3-2. We'll be back in just a bit. All the scoring has come after the sixth inning. We'll be back in just a few. Appreciate you guys for being with us tonight on the Last Drafts Baseball YouTube channel. We'll be right back in just a few. Welcome back, everybody. The Hawks threw us a curveball. We thought Matsumoto would come in in the seventh inning and then Fuji in the eighth, but instead it is going to be Matsumoto here in the eighth as he is coming on in a relief. A couple of defensive changes for the Hawks, and we'll have to get that for you as well as the night is over for the second baseman. Taisi Makihara, as he was pinched foot for by Adam Walker. We'll have to get you those changes in just a couple moments. Coming up to bat here for the Eagles will be the top of the order. It is going to be Tatsumi. Well, it looks like it's going to be Hiroki Shimochi to pinch hit here. So the veteran making an appearance here tonight, the 34-year-old. Off to a slow start this year. He is one for 21. So Shimochi in here to pinch hit. Batting from the left side against the right-handed throwing Matsumoto. And here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball drops in for a called strike. And the count is quickly 0-1 to Shimochi. I have to say over the last few years, I've really enjoyed watching Shimochi's approach at the plate, watching him hit. But unfortunately, like all good things must and may come to an end. He is getting a little bit long in the tooth. And there is a fastball swung on and missed. And the count now goes to 0 and 2 to Shimochi. Shimochi batting from the left side here against the right-handed throwing Matsumoto. Who holds to the set position and delivers. Fastball swung on. Lifted into deep center field, but not deep enough. Coming over and to his left is Shudo. He's there to make the catch. That will retire Shimochi. So the Eagles are starting to run out of outs here. One gone here in the eighth inning. That is going to bring up the second baseman, Hirota Kobakata. Kobakata tonight is 0 for 2. He has... Flown out to right field, grounded to the pitcher, and he has walked in his three trips to the plate. Seen his average dip to 231. Three two Hawks, bottom of the eighth inning. Eagles 
hanging around, but need to do some work here if they want to get another run back. Here comes the offering. Breaking ball drops in for a called strike, and the count is 0-1. You got to think that the ninth inning is going to be Roberto Osuna time. Tyler said Skeens is his favorite pitching prospect, very biased as an LSU guy. And he pitches a fastball that misses down. The count goes even at one and one. So one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball misses just off the outside corner. Count is now 2-1 to Kobakata. Back to Tyler's thoughts. Paul Skeens is on a whole other food chain. The Pirates are rolling going into the middle of the summer. I don't, would not be surprised if Skeens is in the big leagues. Is that Pitches a breaking ball missing down. It's now three and one. The Pirates, who are off to a decent start, continue to play well. Would not bat an eye that Skeens will be in the big leagues. Come potentially into June or July. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken for a called strike, and the count now goes to three and two on Kobagata. So three balls and two strikes. So the right-hander ready to go again as he holds set Matsumoto on the 3-2 pitch. Kicks and fires. Fastball misses down and away. It's going to be ball four. It's the second walk issued tonight to Kobakata. And he is aboard with a one-out walk. That'll bring up the right fielder, Yuya Ogo. Our friend Tyler says in the chat he's almost unconscious on the mound. Throws 100 to 103 without looking like he's tiring very hard. Triple A with his Indians. Is that Indianapolis these days? He says, I won't miss a home start. Of course, the Cleveland Club has to change their name, but Indianapolis can keep it. As can Spokane. Friend Tyler says it is. I take it Tyler is in the Indianapolis area. I was in Indy a few times. I got to see the Colts play a couple times. A place called Circle Center was also on our destination. Fastball ticket for a called strike. Tyler says Indianapolis tries a good job to try to honor the natives. Trying to think in Indy. It's been probably 20 years since I've been to Indy. Went to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. No race was going on, but to, just to see the brickyard was pretty amazing. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. Fastball taken for a called strike. The count is 0-2. Since Circle Center is in the mall in the center of the downtown. Yeah, there was a lot of Drinking establishments in that circle center. A lot of bands used to play live bands. You could go in and watch somebody play or go to a different spot, walk around. Tyler says the track is stupidly large. Yeah, another thing about the track is uh, I didn't know there were three holes of a golf course that was also in the middle of the infield. So no balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. It is a breaking ball taken for a called third strike. As Ogo stood there like the house by the side of the road, and that is going to retire him. He's gone for the second out of the inning. And that is going to bring up the third baseman, Hideto Asamura. So Asamura coming to the plate. He is 0 for 2 tonight. He has flown to center, grounded to third. He has walked and scored a run. The runner at first is Kobakata here with two gone in the eighth. 
Matsumoto pitching very well. But Asamura on the season hitting 080. His numbers tonight have taken him in the wrong direction. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball misses down and away. A great stop by Takuya Kai. He had to get into the left-handed batter's box to keep that ball in front. So one ball and no strikes to Hedero Asamura. Asamura, the captain here. Our friend Gino in the house. We appreciate you for stopping in, Gino. And don't forget to bookmark the channel because tomorrow night we'll be back on again with the Yamuri Giants and the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars, if that is of interest. So here comes the 1-0 pitch. As it's on the way, it is a fastball that misses down, and the count now goes to 2-0. So two balls and no strikes to Asamura. Getting to be a little hoarse tonight. Been struggling a little bit with this. I think the allergy season, April and May, we get to have our voice give us a bit of a hard time. Gino wants to know if there were any MLB players in this game, and yeah, there were. There's the pitch. Fastball misses down, and the count goes to 3 0 on Asamura. Currently, the pitcher last inning for the Golden Eagles, Nick Turley, who spent time with the Pirates. And we went through that a little bit ago. Turley had spent time with the Pittsburgh Pirates as well as the Minnesota Twins. He was on the mound for Tohoku. Most of the other players in this game here tonight, not so much. So three balls and no strikes as the right-hander Matsumoto gets his sign from Kai. They do have that open base. They do have a base or a couple of bases that are open. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on. This ball is lined, and it's going to get through the shortstop into left field. It's going to be picked up by the left fielder, Kondo. Almost took the head off of the shortstop. Kawase, a free decapitation, and that is one of the harder hit balls of the night. Asamura aboard with a single. It's going to advance Kobakata over to second. It's going to bring up Ryosuke Tatsume to the plate, who's going to be making his first at bat here tonight. Absolute bullet, and I bet you that lifted a huge weight off of the shoulders of Asamura. Tyler says we're a godsend for the night shift. Yep, there you go. I don't know if I I don't know if I would ever say my voice is cued at any at the best of times. So Tatsumi stepping to the plate, batting from the left side against the right-handed throwing Matsumoto. As the right-hander working to the set position, checks the runner over at second. And now kicks and fires. It's a breaking ball missing outside. The count is 1-0. 17 pitches now for Matsumoto here in the eighth inning. So one ball and no strikes it is. Right-hander against the left-hander. As the right-hander Matsumoto ready to go again. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball misses outside, and the count now goes to 2-0. and Interesting that Tatsumi replaced Abby, who had walked a couple of times in this one here tonight. Maybe it's the spot in the batting order, but the Golden Eagles right now threatening again to add a, another run back to the scoreline here, maybe even two, as they trail the Hawks by a run here. If they can get through this inning, then you can expect Roberto Osuna to come to the mound for the ninth. And if you want a clinic in baseball, Osuna will be able to put that on here in the NPB. So two balls and no strikes it is as the left-handed hitter here. Oh, 
Appreciate you, Gino, for listening in. We thank you for that. We sometimes have quite the festive crowd. We had one certainly in the midweek this week. We had about 70 people listening in. It was good times had by all. Here comes the 2-0 pitch as the right-hander delivers a fastball that's taken for a called strike at the knees. Two balls and one strike to Tatsumi. Matsumoto ready to go back at it again. Crowd is on their feet trying to cheer on their eagles here. Gino says that Osuna throws gas from what he remembers from Toronto a few years ago. He absolutely does. But it's not just the heat. It's the movement on the pitch that makes him electric. There's a fastball that swung on and fouled away. Count is now 2-2 two and two to Tatsumi. And by NPB standards, he is absolutely electric and pretty much automatic. But we'll have to wait and see. That's why they play the game. Scoreline, top of the ninth inning. The Buffaloes are now rampaging over the Marines. 9-1, to one, they have the lead. 5 nothing now for the Lions over the Fighters. That's in the bottom of the ninth inning. Top of the eighth, 4 nothing for the Dragons over the Carp. And in the bottom of the eighth inning, the Tigers are clinging to a 4-3 lead over the Swallows. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Fastball swung on, lifted foul into the seats over on the third base side. Count remains at 2-2 two and two to Tatsumi. So two balls and two strikes. After the game is complete, we'll give you a full recap of this one and the rundown from around the NPB before we call it a night. As we said, we'll be back on the airwaves again tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Pacific, 1 a.m. Eastern if you're in North America. Or 2 o'clock if you are listening in, in Japan, which will be Japan time. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on, chopped over to second, fielded neatly by the second baseman. Looks like Kwase, looks like Imamiya's in the ballgame, who flips it to him for the out. And that is going to do it. Tatsumi bounces into a fielder's choice and erases Asamura at second. That goes in the books as a 4-6 put out. He's gone for the third out of the inning. No runs in the inning, one hit. There were no errors, and there was two runners left the board. We're now through eight complete. Your score is the Hawks three and the Eagles two. We'll be back in just a few Appreciate you guys from hanging in here with us. We'll be right back in just a bit after this from our friend Eric. Hello, this is Eric Fox, formerly of the Oakland A's and Texas Rangers baseball teams. If you want to learn about Japanese baseball, see Coach Fred, Last Raps Baseball. If you want to baseball instruction, see Coach Fred. If you want to learn about golf, do not go to Coach Fred. Fred, what kind of club is this? At Last Draft's Baseball, we know baseball. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste. Hey, I hope you guys have been enjoying the game. My name is Hollis. I've got a YouTube channel called Another Hollis Build. Um, I love baseball cards. I open up brand new product for you guys. I open up old stuff. I do breaks. I do auctions. All kinds of stuff concerning baseball. I'm Friars Faithful, Padres to the end. I also love Garbage Pail Kids and my animals. I have a ton of animals. It's like a mini petting zoo here around my house. I also love my city, San Diego, baby. I take you all around the city and show you what's up. Um, if you guys dig stuff like that, cruise on over and check it out. It's another Hollis build. If you dig it, subscribe. I, I'd really appreciate to have more follow me along on the journey. Hey, either way, you guys have a wonderful day or a beautiful, beautiful evening. No matter which one it is, make sure that you make it great, my friends. Big up, Last Raps Baseball. Yeah, Freddy, let's go. One love and peace. Yeah, man. Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be a pitching change as the Eagles are going to Shota Watnabe, who is going to be taking over here in the ninth inning to face the five, six, and seven hitters for the Hawks. It'll be Kondo, Kurihara, and Kawamura to come to bat here for inning number nine. 
as he just completes his warm-up tosses. Friend Gino asked the question, is there somewhere that you can be able to do that? Yeah, we typically don't always do that. We don't necessarily provide the links out here. But what people do is they'll sync them up and they'll be able to find us. And sometimes the games, depending on where you're at, the other thing is too is depending where you're at globally, it dictates a little different. If you're in Canada, United States, if you're somewhere else in the world, other places have a hard time getting feeds to the games. So here we go. We're ready to back and deliver. It's a first pitch breaking ball that is swung on and missed, and the count is quickly 0 and 1. I have a couple of new Rademacher commercials, but I haven't been able to convert them into MP4s yet. So they are on the docket for us. Paulus does need a couple more commercials. We talked to him about that. And we're going to have a couple more added to us. We only try to play them once or so a game now as we have some other stuff that we're going to be rolling out. Fastball is taken for a ball, and the count is one and one I like bringing them out once a game. So one ball and one strength to Kondo. Kondo tonight has one of the two Hawks hits. There's a fastball swung on this ball, is lifted into deep left center field, and this ball is going to be trouble. It's going to get down. Tatsumi's playing soccer with it in left center field as he kicks it around. Kondo races around first, heads into second, and he's got himself a stand-up double as he is aboard here in the ninth inning with a leadoff two-bagger. That is going to bring up the third baseman, Ryoya Kurihara. And for Kurihara, he is 0 for 2 tonight. He's got a walk as well to go with it. So be curious to see if they're going to be thinking bunt in this situation. Why not get him over to third and then take a couple of cracks to bring him home? So Kurihara steps to the plate. I'm thinking bunt. Hawks are thinking bunt. So that's exactly what Kurihara is going to be doing here. Here comes the pitch, but they... Do the old spaghetti move to chase Kondo back to second base. So it looks like Kwase is still the shortstop. It is Nakata who has moved into second base as he had replaced Adam Walker in the lineup. There's a bunt. It's down. It's a good one. Fielded by the pitcher. They throw over to first base. So Watnabi picks it up cleanly. It's going to go down as a sacrifice, one to four. It races Kurihara for the first out of the inning, advancing over to third is Kondo. Now they're going to have a couple of cracks to try to bring him home, but it's going to bring the pitching coach out of the dugout. He's probably going to be talking some defense here with the infield. So the guy on the mound to talk to his pitcher and the infielders. So Kondo now the runner at third with one gone. That conference of Eagles is over. They're ready to resume the action here. As we said, Nakata has slipped into play second base. That would be Kaiski Nakata. So that's going to step up to the plate. It's going to bring Yuta Kawamura to the plate. He is 0 for 2 tonight. He's also had a sack fly, some sack fly and an RBI. And the first pitch he waves out in the dirt, and the count is 0 and 1. He grounded the first, struck out, and then he hit a sacrifice fly to bring home the first run of the ball game. As he drove in a condo his last time up. So very similar situation on our hands. Kondo with the runner at third with Kawabura here at the plate. Gino says he is from Syracuse, New York, as there is a fastball that misses down, and count runs even to one and one. We would be in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, on the Pacific West Coast. We are going to be moving around a little bit this summer. We'll be in a couple of different places. Not sure if I'll be able to call games 
might even try to do that, see if that would work from the San Francisco Bay Area. There's a fastball swung on and fouled away. The count is one and two. Might even try to do it when I'm in good old Detroit. We are going to do most of the games this summer, but we are going to take a hiatus in the month of August when we're going to be in pretty hot Nicaragua. So one ball and two strikes it is. As the right-hander kicks and delivers, it's a fastball that misses down, and the count now goes to two and two. So two balls and two strikes. Kawamura. It's been an entertaining ball game tonight. The first six innings, there was a no-hitter for both teams. Not a single hit. And, of course, now as the game has gone on, as the 2-2 is on the way, it's a breaking ball that misses down. It's now 3-2 and two to Kawamura. That has changed significantly. And the game, of course, was really clipping it along at an incredible pace. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we hit the wall. So three balls and two strikes. Kawamura waiting on the offering. Here comes the pitch. And it is a breaking ball swung on. This ball is lifted down the left field line. Moving over is Okajima, but he's going to watch it drift into the stands. It's going to keep the count at three balls and two strikes. Gino says we should take over the play-by-play. -play. I think John Miller is actually not that bad. One thing I will say is listening to the radio guys around the league, not everybody, of course, but there's you know some really good announcers across Major League Baseball. Here comes the 3-2. Pitch on the way, fastball. This ball is going to be lined into left field. It's going to get down for a base hit. That's going to get the fourth run of the game in for the Hawks. And stopping at first is Kamara. He's got himself his second RBI, and that would be his first hit in the NPB. So a single and an RBI cashing in condo. The scoreline is now 4-2 to two for the Hawks, and that is going to bring up the catcher, Takuya Kai. Our friend Tyler says he's got the Eagles plus one and a half. He's sweating bullets. Yeah, I think you just shot yourself in the toe. So that's going to bring Takuya Kai to the plate. Kai, 0 for 3 tonight. He did reach base on an error back in the sixth inning. He's also struck out and grounded out. One of the things that I was talking to my folks, and my dad listens to a number of the games, not just our games sometimes, but Major League Baseball games, certainly the Toronto and Detroit broadcasts. Detroit because it's only about 20 minutes from their home. And the one thing he's very critical about is when they're doing the television broadcast, they cut away games going on and they're doing interviews. There's a ball that is bunted foul behind home plate. And the count is no balls and one strength to Takuya Kai. Our friend Mike steps in and he said he had Eagles plus 100 to start the game. Now on to the next wager. That's tough, Mike. Glad you could stop in with us tonight. Eagles, certainly tonight. If you would have saw their lineup before the game, I don't think I would have put any money on their lineup. As I said earlier, we make our predictions about 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific time and then post our stuff on the channel. There's a fastball bunted foul over on the first base side. The count is going to be 0-2 to Kai. The problem that we have is, is they don't get a chance to see the batting lineups, and the lineups don't come out till within an hour before the game. Major League Baseball, you'll get games three, three and a half, or lineups three, three and a half hours before the game starts. And when you do that, you can peruse the lineup to see who's in, who is out. That makes it frustrating, that is for sure. So a lot of the times you're just having to make your 
assessments based on the pitchers, not necessarily the lineup they're rolling out against them. Gino said he had Hawks money line all day. Yeah, and certainly with Osuna coming into the ninth, as one would expect, unless, of course, they put a bit more spread of runs on, it's pretty much an automatic close. Maybe only one time through the year, maybe two, that he might blow a save. Here's the pitch. It is a fastball that misses down. That's going to run the count to one and two on Takuya Kai. Kai is still trying to bunt here with two strikes. With precipitation in the area, it's not a bad idea. You can get the ball in play, and who knows, maybe they kick it around, throw it around a little bit. So one ball and two strikes it is. So here comes the one-two pitch. It's a fastball that misses upstairs. The count now goes to two and two on Kai. So two balls and two strikes. Gino asked any changes from around the NPB. Pretty much everything that we gave you, not much has changed other than the fighters have scored a run in the bottom of the ninth. To cut the lead to five to two against the Lions. So here comes the two-two pitch. There's a fastball bunted. It's a good one. It's down up the first baseline, fielded by the pitcher. They throw to first. That's going to retire Kai. That's going to go on the books as a sacrifice. One to three on the putout. He's gone for the second out of the inning. It does advance Kawamura over to second. And it's going to bring up the Second baseman, Kaisuke Nakata, to the plate here. We'll take a look to see if it is still going to be Nakata coming to bat. But no, it isn't. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter. So the Hawks are going back into the vault. They're going to bring in Kira Nakamura to pinch hit. So this is going to be the fourth change in the roster spot. So Akira Nakamura to bat here in the top of the ninth inning with the runner at second and two gone. And the first pitch is a breaking ball missing outside. The count is one ball and no strikes. Nakamura hitting from the left side here against the right-handed throwing Watnabi. <laughs> Watnabi's got clay in his cleats. He jumps up and down and clicks the heels to try to get rid of it. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on. This ball is going to be looped into left field. This ball's down. It's going to be trouble. Rounding third and heading home and scoring will be Kawamura. And that is going to be the fifth run of the ball game. And the Hawks are now putting some distance between themselves and the Eagles. An RBI single here off the bat of Nakamura has increased the score line to five to two. So one would still think we're going to see Osuna unless it maybe gets to four runs. It's going to bring up Yukio Shudo, the leadoff hitter. We'll come to bat here with two gone in the ninth and a runner on first. So applause all around for Fukuoka. Our friend Tyler says, just give up one in the ninth, please. There's a fastball that's taken for a called strike. Count is 0 and 1 to Shudo. Mike says, Tigers 4 3. That's in the bottom of the ninth. That is correct. Swallows are down to their final outs. Here's the 0 1. Fastball swung on this ball, is lined into right field, drifting back on it and making the catch. Is the right fielder Ogo, and that is going to do it here. Shudo gone for the third out of the inning. And the Eagles have got their final bats to come here. There was two runs in the top of the inning on the benefit of three hits. There was no errors, and there was one runner left the board. We're moving now to the bottom of the ninth inning. 
Your score is the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks 5 and the Tohoku Rakuten Gold Eagles 2. Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back in just a couple. Tyler says, never mind. His bets are dead because of the Lions. Yeah, thanks, Lions. We'll be back in a bit after this. Welcome back, everybody. As anticipated, it'll be Roberto Osuna coming into the ball game. He's making his fifth appearance for the Hawks. He has allowed one run in his four innings of work so far. As he is taking over here, it'll be Kenta Emamiya in at the shortstop position. And it'll be Kwase, who started at shortstop, who will move to second base to try to finish this one out. So Imamiya in for defensive replacements. He goes into the nine spot in the batting order. And we're going to try to finish this off here. Two things are going to happen. You're either going to listen to a Fukuoka win, or you're going to hear one of the greatest comebacks of the 2024 season with the Golden Eagles here in just a moment. So the first pitch delivered to Ito. Fastball that misses down for a ball, and the count is 1-0. 0. 0 for 4 on the season is Ito. 0 for, 3, 10, 0 for 2 tonight. He also has a sacrifice bunt to his name. So the right-hander Osuna holds at the belt, and now he kicks and delivers a fastball swung on and missed. Count goes to 1-1. One and one. Osuna is as about as automatic as you can get by NPB standards. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball just misses upstairs. Count now goes to 2-1. and one. He's not throwing as hard as we have seen him. That last pitch poured in at 92 miles an hour. Here's the 2-1. Fastball swung on, grounded through the six-hole into left field. That's going to be a base hit as Ito is aboard with a leadoff single, so the Eagles are not dead yet. It's going to bring up Takiro Okajima to the plate. And for Okajima, he is one for one tonight. He came on as a pinch hitter back in the seventh inning. And he knocked in a, both of the runs for the Golden Eagles. So he comes to bat here. Facing Roberto Osuna. As we said, it was a really wild play. That ball was down the first baseline, got past the bag. And it hit the umpire behind the field of play. So I think if I'm the umpire, i got to be ready for anything here. First pitch fastball misses inside to count as 1-0 to Okajima. It's been another good night here tonight, although I have to say it's been an odd game. Here's the 1-0. Fastball swung on. This ball is lined into left field. This is going to be a base hit. So if Tyler thinks his ticket's blown up, hang tight. You got runners at first and second, nobody out. Eagles have life, and it's slated to bring up the catcher, Ishihara. So Ishihara striding to the plate. Or is he going to get called back here? We'll have to take a look here.
and he is going to get called back. It's going to be Daichi Suzuki coming up, the pinch hitter, the veteran. So I have to say that we aren't seeing the typical Roberto Osuna here. Suzuki 0 for 3 on the season, looking for his first hit. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken for a call strike. Now that starts to be the Osuna that we know. 96 mile an hour fastball. So no balls and one strike. Tyler says tickets already burned and in ashes. There's a fastball swung on, and this is fouled away, and the count is 0-2 now to Suzuki. Oh, yeah, I guess that's right. You lost the Lions bet. Such is life. So no balls and two strikes to Suzuki. The runner at second is Ito. The runner at first, Okajima. Nobody out here in the bottom half of the ninth, and there's a fastball swung on in. Lifted foul, and the count remains at 0-2. Another 96-mile-an-hour heater from Osuna. Now starting to dial it up a little bit. Fastball, he had the pull down on the seams. Here's the 0-2. That is a breaking ball swung on. It is popped up over on the right side of the infield. It is in foul territory, racing over and making the catch is the first baseman, Yamakawa. That is going to put away Suzuki for the first out of the inning. So one up, one away here, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Suki Muribayashi. Unless, of course, they go to the bench again, we'll have to take a look to see what we have here. Does look like it is going to be the case. It's going to be a Gora Moji. Talking about him earlier in the ballgame. Moji, two for 14 to begin the year, batting a buck 43. Moji, of course, traditionally comes over and bows to the plate umpire as the first pitch is swung on and missed. Count is quickly 0 and 1 to Moji. Moji batting from the left side. A couple years ago when we started doing the MPB regular, Moji was unbelievable. He Every time we would tune in, looked like he was a superstar. Here's the 0-1. Fastball taken at the knees for call strike. The count is 0-2. He have some clutch home runs, make some unbelievable plays defensively. So no balls and two strikes as the Left-handed hitting pinch hitter waits on the offering from Osuna. Here's the 0-2. Fastball just misses off the outside corner, and the count runs to 1-2. and two. So one ball and two strikes it is. As a reminder, again, we'll be back on the airwaves again tomorrow. Giants and Bay Stars, 10 p.m. Pacific. There's a fastball swung on this ball. is belted into deep right field. This ball is going to be trouble, and it's going to be off the wall. The right fielder has played it on one bounce. That's going to cash one run in, and we're going to see if they're going to be able to get two on that one there. As it is, got Ito has crossed the plate. It is a 5-3 ball game. It's going to put runners at second and third. Moji absolutely scorched that double. RBI here for him. It's going to bring up the top of the order. It's supposed to be... Hiroki Shimochi, who came on as the DH. So Ito has scored the run, and we've got ourselves now a 5-3 ball game. Runners on second and third with one out. So don't look now. Here come the Golden Eagles. This crazy game is going to continue. So Shimochi striding to the plate. 0 for 1 tonight. Look to center field his first time up. Now the go-ahead run is at the plate. And the first pitch ready to come. First pitch fastball swung on and missed, and the count is quickly 0-1. Shimochi 1-for-22 on the season, batting 0-45. 
crowd is in disbelief in the Fukuoka section. The Eagles section, they are believing. Here comes the 0-1. Fastball swung on and lifted foul over on the third base side. Counts now 0-2 to Shimauchi. Second baseman, Hiroto Kobakata, waits on deck. Base hit here could tie the game. Extra base hit definitely ties the game. And a home run would end the game. Here's the 0-2. Breaking ball misses down. The appeal to the third base umpire, but they say Shimochi didn't go. Count is now 1-2 and two to Hiroki Shimochi. You know, I have to say that pitch wasn't as bad as it seemed. Takuya Kai did not do a great job of receiving it. There's a pitch. It's a fastball swung on this ball. is lifted into straightaway center field, making the catch is Shudo, tagging it third and heading home, and that is going to cut the lead to 5-4. to four. Okajima is going to score the run. That's going to be a sacrifice fly. Sack 8 RBI for Shimochi. We've got ourselves a one-run ball game with Imor Igor Omoji standing at second base and Hiroba Kobakata coming to the plate. The rain is coming down pretty good in Tohoku. Unbelievable, this one here. Just when you think that it's going to be automatic, it certainly hasn't been that way. So Kobakata coming to the plate. He is 0 for 2 tonight. He's also drawn a couple of walks. The first pitch on the way is a fastball swung on and missed. Count is quickly 0 and 1 to Kobakata. So no balls in one strike. Right hander Osuna kicks and delivers. Fastball swung on this ball is lifted into shallow left field. Moving over underneath it is Kondo. He's there. He makes the catch, and that is going to do it. Well, the Eagles, they threaten, they score, but they just don't score enough here in the ninth inning as that is going to be your ball game. They got two runs in the inning on the benefit of three hits. There was no errors and one runner left aboard. Your final score was the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks 5, the Tohoku Rocket and Golden Eagles 4. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back to wrap this up in just a couple moments. Appreciate you guys for being with us here tonight, whether you listen live or on delay. Always great to have you here. We'll be right back in just a few. Well, you've got to have a nace in the hole. A little secret that nobody knows. Life is a gamble, a game we all play. But you've got to save something for a rainy day. You've got to learn to play your cards right if you expect to win in life. Don't put it all on the line for just one roll. You've got to have a nace in the hole. <laughs> Appreciate you there, Matt, and the support you give to our channel. It is a final score of 5-4. to four. We'll wrap this one up for you here. This game here, all the action offensively started in the seventh inning as both teams had their starting pitchers, Levon Moinello and Kosei Shoji, had no hit each other through the first six. In the top of the seventh inning, Hawks got the scoring going with a leadoff single by Kondo. And then after a... Wild pitch brought him all the way over to third. It was Kurihara who walked and up stepped Yuta Kawamura, and he had a sacrifice fly to left field to bring home Kondo with the first run of the game, one nothing for the Hawks. In the bottom of the seventh inning, the Eagles responded with two of their own back-to-back -back walks to Asamura and Abby, and then a sacrifice by Ito, and then it was a Takeru Okajima base hit he had a single that hit the umpire behind the bag at first base, but it was able to cash in Asamura and Tatsumi, who pinch ran for Abby to make the score 2-1 to one for the Eagles. Well, in the eighth inning, the Hawks regained the lead. With one out, it was a walk to Shudo, 
He was sacrificed to second, and up stepped Yuki Anagita, and he deposited a two-run over into right center field to give the Hawks a 3-2 lead. In the top of the ninth, the Hawks padded their lead. It was a condo double. He was sacrificed to third. Then Kawamura hit an RBI single to bring home Kondo. Then Takuya Kai sacrificed Kawamura into second. And then up stepped the pinch hitter Nakamura. And he drove home Kawamura with the fifth run of the ball game to make the score five to two. And then in the bottom of the ninth inning, with Roberto Osuna on the mound, back to back singles by Ito and Okajima after a pop out by Suzuki. Up stepped Igoro Moji, and he hit a double that knocked home one run, brought home Ito, got the score line to 5-3, and then Hiroki Shimochi had a sacrifice fly to center that brought home the fourth run, but that was all the Eagles could muster as they fall 5-4 to four to the Hawks. Once again, everybody, we appreciate you guys for listening in. We'll give you the quick rundown from around the NPB before we sign off, as we will call it a night. Final score from the Central League, 4-3 Tigers beat the Swallows. Bottom of the ninth inning is at the Mazda Zoom Zoom Stadium in Hiroshima, 4-0 for the Dragons over the Carp. Other games, Lions beat the Fighters 5-2, and the Buffaloes knocked off the Marines 9-1. Once again, your final score here, 5-4 for the Hawks over the Golden Eagles. Once again, guys, come on back tomorrow night. We will be back on the airwaves once again, for more action, hopefully we can see you there. Have a great night, everybody.